All right, let's get this started. So we're actually, we're not too far from where we need to go. Oh, Baron Breakfast. That's kind of a, um, not like Stardew Valley, but some kind of like sim management game, isn't it, Jumi? Okay, if we look at the map, oh, we're right next to it. This is the door I was talking about. I think we can now go up here since we lit both of those beacons, right? See those two big fox statues? Their eyes are lit up. Let's see if this opens now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Krem, I think that would be fun to do. Let you guys choose everything in that game. All right, let's see what's behind here. Oh no, 99, that's so harsh to hear, that sucks. Now, in, I guess, previous talks with, you know, your therapist and stuff, do they have any tips to kind of like help counteract or minimize the effects of um, remembering all that kind of stuff? Hopefully there's something you can practice to help it out, I don't know. <laughs> that's pretty dang cute, Jumi, I love it. Okay, so obviously I can't read any of that, but there's those three symbols. And we've seen that on all those big obelisk statues, I believe. Like the three colors, red, green, and blue, I believe. <laughs> Our bear hugs on the menu. I wonder, is there a secret back here behind these statues? This game hides things so very well. You definitely need to look around. Nope, okay, had to check. I remember how to play this game. Anytime I take a couple days off, <laughs> just like, what am I doing? Whoa, look at that thing. What do we do with this? They're looking for a red one? Is that what that is? I'm guessing we have to do one for each color. Is that right? I don't know that I have anything for this. Yeah, blue and the other one's probably green. Yep. Okay, so we gotta find those colors. What's over here? Now I always repeat myself, but the music in this game is so good. Okay, we could sneak behind here. Where am I going? Oh, we found a new page. Excellent. Take it. Okay, what is this? We have to pray for three seconds. See, this is like the kind of stuff that it's so cool that they hide behind the instruction manual. I've seen these things many times. However, I press A, nothing happens. Here it says you have to hold A for three seconds to do whatever it's asking to, for. Help, hints, and clues. The temple, three keys. And then it shows those colors, maybe linked to those little obelisks that we find. The Ruined Atoll, and it shows a crab. Oh, I hate those crabs. Um, what else? Checkpoint Dead. We found one of those. I wasn't sure how to bring it back. An Old Burying Ground. Okay. Keep an eye on your bars. Have we seen all this before? I think we have. I don't remember seeing that, though. I swear this thing keeps populating with new stuff. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess you don't really know you have it until, like, it happens, right? 99? Oh, that's terrible. You definitely need to make time to see your doctor, for sure. And, more than likely, if you were planning on maybe getting out of your job anyway, that'll give you way more free time to actually make an appointment, right? I know a lot of times when I have to make an appointment for something, sometimes my work schedule, I have to push it out further just to find a good time. And over there. This. Oh, this is another exit, okay. So that was a dead end at first. Have we, I feel like I, oh, we have been up here. Yeah, that's right, I just couldn't go that other way. Okay, so the only clue I got from that is we need to find those obelisks, which we are right there. 
So when we find those obelisks, we need to hold the A button for three seconds and try to pray to it or activate it. And that might turn on that big thing that we found. So do those things show up on the map? I bet they do. Like there's one right there at the bottom right. Okay. So let's start making our way there. It's the easiest way down there. Oh, that's good. Go Abby. Heck yeah, 99. And the shortcuts in this game. I get lost as to where I am <laughs> half the time. I'm like, how, how would you ever find this? <laughs> okay, so I want to go... Do I want to go straight down and over? I think so. I think I want to go down this way and then over. It's a little tough to tell what way is going to actually lead there. One thing I kind of wish this game had, and maybe it does, we just haven't learned how to do it yet, is some kind of fast travel system. I feel like when I want to go to some place on the other side of the map, I have to hoof it. Oh wait, I can run though. That's right. I forgot all about that. I need to go this way. see if this takes me all the way on the map it kind of looked like it did you actually move pretty quick though the map isn't really that big it's very detailed oh i can't reach that one how do i get over there oh oh what's happening i think i'm too far away see it looked like it was trying to do some kind of praying thing but i can't quite reach that oh, how do i get up there Okay, we'll need to find out some kind of jump. I don't know. Okay, so where else is there one of these things? On the east side? There's a bunch of them over there. I think that's what that is. Let's go back over there and check that side. Oh, there you go, 99. Yeah, because she had dealt with some similar things, so she can identify it very quickly. That makes a lot of sense. What is this? Oh, I <laughs> can't read it. That's what it is. Oh yeah, I'm almost there. We just have to go up these stairs and then this way. And this should take us there. And it's always worth it to kill random stuff because you're getting money, which you are always going to need for upgrades. Oh yeah, that was this thing. Um, I think I don't need to go up this way right now. I think I need to go down. I'm just trying to get to the main area with all the beach and the crabs and stuff. Might as well save it. Yeah, like I wish I could fast travel between these save points. Maybe that would make it too easy. So if I look at a map right now, I'm trying to get to the East Forest. Is this the East Forest? Not quite, we're not in a forest right now. East Forest, Dark Tomb. What do they call this place? Eastern Vault? I'm not sure what actually the name of this is. We can't have it too comfortable, Krim. We gotta work for it. I'm not sure what the name of this area is. But that's where I'm trying to go. I think that's where I'm going. Oh! We can use coins here. Ow. Got these guys. Shoot. So I need to equip a coin. Nice, we haven't done that before. One. I got an achievement unlocked that said nothing happened. Do I have to do another one?
It says two. Still nothing happened. <laughs> I don't know what that does. Maybe after a certain point you unlock something or do you have to do it in a specific well? I'm not sure. Luckily from our upgrades, we are just wrecking these guys and they don't do very much damage to us because we're more powerful. But what does this sign say? Hero's Grave. Is that what the place was called? You should pretty much always save it. Just in case you die, you go to the last place you saved. It's a sign. Still Hero's Grave. Okay. I think that might be it. Oh my goodness. Three years? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Lost God Tajay three freaking years. How is it three years already, dude? Insane. When I first played Detroit Become Human. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Welcome. Let me drop some tokens for you guys. How are you doing, Tajay? What you been doing lately? Are you uh, still working on Diablo Immortal or are you playing something new right now? What are you up to, dude? Good to see you. Hope you're having a awesome day. I'm so happy. It's my Friday. I've been dying for the weekend. As I'm getting closer to my vacation, the days seem to get longer and longer. I'm definitely getting a little bit of that senioritis just before a long break. Although for me, my vacation's kind of broken up. I take a week with my family, and then I'm back for a week, and then a week with Andy's family. But it'll still be a lot of fun. But it's great to see you, dude. And Bambi. How's it going, Bambi? Boo! You scare me. How are you doing, Bambi? I'm making some. Oh, I love it. One or two hits, everything dies. It's still eating too much of your time, so you are still playing that Diablo. Man, they got their hooks in you. But man, all those Diablo games are always so addictive. Always so addictive. What do I do with this? Can I pray here, maybe? Does this do something? Hey! Okay, that did something. I don't know what that did. We're like a ghost fox now. Oh, look at the statue. Is that us? And there's like a bunch of the items that we can get. Um, do I pray again here? I'm not sure what I do here. Can I grapple? Can't seem to grapple onto anything. Is this a dead end? Oh, good, Tashi. I'm glad it's not draining your <laughs> wallet too bad. That's good to hear. But hey, if you're having fun with it, that's what games are for. Doesn't really matter anything else. I, I don't pray here. I'm not sure what the deal is. I was hoping I could, like, get that upgrade or something. I wonder if you needed the ability to jump, which... As far as I know, I don't have. Let me check the instruction manual. Make sure we haven't gained the ability to jump and I just missed it. So hold A to run. Hold A for three seconds standing in place to pray. And let me know if you guys see anything in the instructions. They're like, John, you missed it. It's right there. Oh, I wonder if one of those abilities lets us jump. I'll have to double check. And then there's us when we're the ghost, but I don't think that has anything to do with that. <laughs> nice 99. We are going to be auto-tuned five minutes. Thanks, 99. Bam, is this working? Test, test. Oh yeah, it's working. Working great. And Taja, you were starting to get a bit burnt out, and then they released a class change system, so now you can play a new class without losing all your levels. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. I mean, I can know I can definitely tell some people much prefer um to like have to grind it all out for another class, but 
Honestly, especially when a game takes that long to get that high, it's much preferable to just try something new and just swap all your progression over there. Does it cost money to do that, or is it like built into the game? Okay, left bumper to upgrade. We knew about that. I don't see anything there. So we can like skip with that <laughs> 99. Multiple people hate the ASMR. I haven't brought it back yet because I had to adjust some. I have to adjust some microphone settings to get it to work right. But it sounds like more people would prefer not to have it. Okay, we know about that. That's just dodging. I'm not sure what that is, though. It says A and hold, and it looks like it's kind of a attack. I tried that out before, and I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I don't think we have any kind of jump. <laughs> right, Grub? Let me try this out again. Yeah, I'm not sure what the... You know what I think they meant by press and hold? I think you dodge. And then if you press and hold it again immediately, you can start running. That might have been what they were talking about. But yeah, there's no way I'm jumping over there. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I think we'll have to come back here once we uh, know how to jump, is my guess. Spider! What's up, spider? When people don't want it, that's what you're supposed to bring it back. <laughs> Gotta not listen to the people, right? Oh, good. You can do it every week, Tajay. That's pretty awesome. You do have to farm new legendaries for the new class. So, oh, I see. So it doesn't bring everything over, but at least some of your progress comes over. You know, I, I remember some articles of one guy spending like 15 grand to get one of the most powerful legendaries. I wonder if... Um, was that the end of this place? Maybe it was. I was gonna say, I wonder if uh, he's done any more of that. Yeah, I think this is a dead end. Dang it. <laughs> How are you doing, Spider? What's new? You're, are you on vacation right now or you're leaving pretty soon to go uh, to that festival, right? <laughs> that's the thing about ASMR 99 some people love it it's just a really cool sound other people can't stand it dang okay so this did not go to the place I was hoping it would I could have sworn it was on this side of the map somewhere okay so that's hero's grave what's well, this way what's in here Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I never got this thing, because I could never cut through that. Nice. When I first came here, I didn't even have a sword. So I also haven't been down here. This is new, too. Oh, you're actually leaving on Saturday. Nice, Spider. Oh, that'll be super fun. Yeah, I think Diablo in general is kind of like that, Tajay, where the gear is much more important than your stats. Not to say that the stats are useless, but if you were to put the stats in the completely wrong place in a game, you're still viable. Maybe you're not the best endgame character. Anything back here? Oh, there's totally something back here. Oh, yeah. Sashima, what's going on? Good to see you, dude. Oh, got a couple more potions. <laughs> Tasha, I'm specifically saving up for that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, here we go, Sashima. In auto-tune, no less. In this strange and desolate land, none can be trusted. You take the initiative to strike first without asking any questions. After all, the only answer would be your own death, and you can't have that. Wandering around in this endless maze, you begin to feel hopeless. But you hold strong. After all, there has to be a way out of Jonkadia. Oh, I, I think I transitioned between regular voice and auto-tune. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sashima. It's good to see you. What you been up to? What's new, dude? Okay, nothing on that side. But there is an exit here. I don't know where this spits me out. Lower forest. Oh, there's a hookshot thing here. Okay. 
Hey, sometimes you just need a break. I totally get that, Sashima. Glad we came this way. Oh, spiders. Whoa, who are these guys? I don't think I've ever actually seen these spiders before. Come here. They're, like, scared of you, but they're also going to murder you if you turn your back to them. So you can't just take them outside and let them free. <laughs> Even if no one's ever found it, right? <laughs> Poor Tasha. I get, they keep bringing me back in. <laughs> I've never played Animal Crossing, Sashima. I never have. Um, Andy played a bunch of Animal Crossing on the Switch. I think she played some of the older ones too, but I got her that one. And she really liked it, but I've never actually played one. So I can't say one way or the other. I remember... I, she was using my Switch originally to play Animal Crossing, but then she wanted an, her own island, like, or she wanted another island. And for whatever reason, you can't create multiple islands on the Switch. It seems really stupid. So I got her her own Switch, and then she had a second island, and she played both of our Switches. There's another grappling hook thing. I know how to get down there, though. Yeah, it's almost... Part Zelda, Tajay, and part like a Dark Souls game. There's definitely a little bit of that, where a lot of the game is kind of unlocking shortcuts to get back to where you were ex uh, exploring. Because when you die in this game, you do lose some experience, not all of it, like you do in Dark Souls. And um, you got to kind of make your way back there. It's definitely less forgiving than a Zelda game. Wait, did I just backtrack there? I've been up there before. What did I miss? <laughs> I actually got that for Andy Sashima. She liked it. Although, have you have you played it much? Because um, what I've learned, the keyboard and mouse controls were terrible. But we couldn't get a controller to work, or at least a PlayStation controller, for some reason. And it was it was no bueno. I don't know what the deal was. Well, it looks like there's an instruction page up there or something. How do I get up there? There might be a way up here. Maybe I missed it. It's still early access, so, you know, expect bugs and jank and stuff, but... Yeah, I didn't play it myself, so I couldn't tell you exactly what she was having problems with, but it just seemed like she would be walking one way and trying to aim another way, and it seemed a little janky from what I saw. Oh, this is back here. Okay, I know where we are, but I don't see any path through the trees to get down there, unfortunately. Yeah, this game's all about finding shortcuts and stuff. To me, I don't know, those games seem like they'd be more better fit to a keyboard and mouse control scheme, so hopefully they are to a controller scheme, so hopefully they implement that at some point. Yes, Australian Animal Crossing, that's it. Okay, I don't know how to get down there yet either. Let's go back up here, and let's try crossing. Let's see where this takes us. Ooh, hello. I'll take that money. Unfortunately, I can't go that way until we learn how to jump. I swear there's got to be a jump ability that I just don't know how to do yet. I wonder if you have to be running? Well, you kind of jump when you're out of... Um... When you're out of stamina, you hop a little bit. But that's not the kind of hop they're looking for. Dang it. <laughs> Had to try. Oh, that, I think that's kind of what she was having problems with, with uh, like the fighting or the farming stuff. It's like it wasn't the direction her character was moving, but the direction like the mouse was pointed, like wherever the cursor was. Which I'm, I'm sure if you got good at that, it would actually be more efficient. But until you got used to that control scheme, you could be running in one direction. And it's kind of tough to do anything in the other direction. I think this is where I came from. Yeah. 
You know, I feel like there might be a shortcut in here to go down. Something over here? Oh no, that just goes back. Never mind. I need to check the maps. I'm not even sure where we are in the world. You know, every time I play a new game, I always just take their default controls and try them out for a while. I, I rarely go into a game and immediately start changing controls. I assume that, you know what? You guys programmed it this way for a reason. Sneak around this way. So I should probably try what you did. Hey, this is how we get down here. Okay. It was way easier than I was expecting. Now we can get that chest. But yeah, I always give the developers a, the benefit of the doubt. And after a little while, if I still don't like it, I'll change it to something else. Okay, I don't know what these coins are for. I mean, I know you throw them in the well, but so far I've thrown two and nothing's happened. Maybe at a certain point it'll unlock something. So I could kill this guy. I could bring him down here. But that doesn't help me get up there still. I guess we could just go this way to go back. Yeah, same, Tajay, same. The only time I can ever think that I might have done that automatically is if a game had, like, reversed Y-axis controls, and I didn't want to do that. Like, if it wasn't a flight game or something, and that was the default for some silly reason, I might change it. Okay, what was this way? Oh, absolutely, Sashima. Yeah, I do like to, um, I kind of have a spreadsheet of, uh, some Steam codes that I set up for the giveaways and stuff. If it's, you know, not something I'm interested in having in my library, or if it's like a duplicate or something. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Now, for a flight game, I can deal with that, Tashi, but, like, if it's a first-person game, no way. Blast that guy. I love that you can shoot through floors in this game. It's so nice. Yeah, so really we're just kind of re-exploring some old places because with our new abilities, oops, we can see so many new things that we couldn't gain access to. Still can't jump over there, though. Okay, that one's a dead end. But yeah, if you just want to DM me on Discord or something, that'd be awesome, Sashima. Usually when I try to find a Steam game to uh, give away to you guys, I try to find something that's kind of similar in some way to what we're playing. And Pookie Poo, it absolutely is. The art style, the music, I just love the vibe of this game. It's just so cozy. Even when it's kind of creepy, it's still kind of cozy. Just when I mention the music, it gets really quiet. Although I am very lost in this game. I'm trying to find my way back to some place, and I'm not sure how to get there. Yeah, I played some fight simulators way back in the day, Tajay, but recently, I haven't touched one in a while. Oh, this is where we did that. Okay, I know where we are now. So we're at the East Bell Tower. Where I'm trying to go is right here. I just don't know the name of this place. It's like a beach area. How the heck do I get there? That says to East Forest. Hmm. Unfortunately, the map pages are not connected, so it's kind of hard to tell what goes where. I know how to get to the mountain, the Forbidden Pass, the Dark Tomb. I could have sworn it was on this side of the map. So, it's kind of hard to describe what exactly this game's about, uh, Pookie. Um, you start off as a fox on, like, an island, and you got nothing. You don't really, you're not explained why you're here, what you're doing. You just start exploring. 
And everything, as you can tell in this instruction manual, most everything is in a language you don't understand. So as you explore the island, you start to find these pages, which kind of teaches you how to play the game. It's really unique. And uh, not just basic controls, but like core functionality you would not just stumble upon by playing. And as you're doing that, the closest thing to a story I found is behind this big sealed door, we found this like really large fox, maybe mama fox, I'm not sure. And she seems to be trapped behind some kind of barrier. So we're trying to basically find a way to break that seal and set that fox free. It's kind of the best synopsis of a story I can come up with, <laughs> just from what I've seen. Same Taji. I do really like sim games, but I have a hard time sticking with them. You know, I like to try them out, give it a test, and like, okay, that was cool, and then I move on. That's so cheap. He was waiting for me. <laughs> Now, I'm a little bit higher level. I guess I've got more upgrades since I've been here, so I'm just trashing these guys. How do I get over there? Oh! You can kind of walk up here, but I can't drop down. You know what? I think I've actually just explored all this area. Except for up there. I think I need a jump command to do that. Oh, I think I'm kind of done here. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Although we did unlock some new stuff, so that's good. Might as well farm some of these guys, get some experience. Get some money. Oh, we did get another coin, so we do have to spend that. Oh, that was a different noise. Hey, we got something. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's what the well does. Okay, so what that is, it's like an empty slot to put upgrades in. So over here, I have this upgrade, and I don't know exactly what it does, but I think this gives me more health. So now I can put another one on there at the same time. I think we have a an instruction manual page that kind of describes these. Let me see. Here we go. So... It looks like the ring with the shield is defense, peril, I don't know what that means. Inverted ash, MP, HP. Oh, I think that means the potions are more effective. Muffling bell, I don't know what that does. Okay. I, we probably just have to test these out, honestly. What's your favorite uh, Metroidvania or Zelda-like game, Sashima? I'm curious. I love Metroidvanias. So what's going to be good? This shield thing looks interesting. I don't know what exactly that does. What about that one? It didn't seem like it increased any of my... I never played on Kana Class. Nice. I'll have to look that one up. I mean, I probably have it on Steam, but I have not played it. I'm not sure what my favorite... Oh, we can't go back that way. That's right. That was a one-way trip. Um, I mean, honestly, I probably always go back to the classic Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That game was superb. Okay, so now to get back, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, that might be what that is, Tajay. It helps you if you're really low on life. I haven't played CrossCode, but I've seen it on Steam. It has kind of like a almost anime art style a little bit, right? Looked pretty cool. I had no idea it was like a Zelda-like game. Wait, that way is a dead end. I think I need to climb up some more. There's some more ladders. I think it's on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Loosely Zelda like. <laughs> you know, one style of game you don't see very often is uh, Act Razor. Have you guys ever played or heard of that one? They came out with a kind of a remaster, and it was all right. Um, I still prefer the original, but it's like a combination of like a city builder 
and like a side-scrolling action game. And it, it jumps between the two gameplay types and they kind of complement each other. I wish we'd get something more like that. The new one, the only problem I had is it had a lot of tower defense sections, which I, I wasn't a big fan of. It wasn't bad. Oh, I remember some PS2 games that were kind of like playing an MMO, but single player. I'm trying to think of the name of them. Dot Hack, maybe? I don't know if it's anything like that, but... How much money do we got? 423. Okay, we need to go to that guy that sells stuff. Okay, so that trip was a bust. Let's go to the map. We are there. How do I get to the area I'm trying to go to? I want to get here. Okay, it looks like the only entrance is from the north. Oh, it is dot hack. Okay. So we come back here. Maybe it's that path? Or that path. I could have sworn I just walked down that way and it was blocked. So I don't think I've been that way. So that can't be the way I got there, right? But I don't really see any other paths that way. I'm assuming north is north on both maps. It might not be. Okay, well let's try that I got out again real quick. Maybe I'll find the um, shopkeeper on the way. I really need the ability to jump. That'd be great. <laughs> Where was... I think it's... Is it the old house? No... Maybe it's that little cave right there. I forget what the entrance to the shopkeeper looks like. There is one down here. I remember we've seen it before. Let me double check this. <laughs> That's right, Sashima. I remember that. You know... Like, that's on my short list of games to replay. I also have Final Fantasy VI, the pixel remaster I want to get. But um, I wonder if they'll ever do, like, a 2D HD remake of Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI. Kind of like Octopath Traveler. I absolutely love that art style. Oh, you know what? Maybe I had to go down. Maybe this is how we get there. Actually, before I do that... Can I, like, pray to this door or something? Still trying to figure out how to open all this stuff. Nope. Just had to check. I really liked Octopath Traveler. I, I didn't beat it. I have to kind of restart it because I've forgotten everything. But I will say, it's a little weird how it jumps between characters, and it seems like the stories are kind of unconnected in a way. They might connect later on, but... Oh, perfect. Thanks, Isashima. I really appreciate that, dude. We got something there. I forget what that was. Bummer. Okay, so this is not the way to get over. Still can't quite pray to that thing. Okay, then my guess is it must be down here. That must be the way over. All right, let's try that. None of you guys are familiar with this game, right? Enough to give me a hint. <laughs> I feel like this is a game where you're kind of meant to stumble around and just explore and find things. Oh, I should also try praying on this thing. Because I don't know what else to do with it. Oh, that does do something. Okay, what does it do? Is this the same as before? Oh, another instructional page. 
table of contents. I don't think that's what I need. Oh. Wait, that's going to tell me the correct map name, though. What page was that? 34. So 34 is the place I'm trying to go to. Why the hell doesn't 34 show up on the table of contents? Maybe it's part of Ruined Atoll, I'm guessing. Yeah, I guess that whole place is Ruined Atoll, okay. Oh, if I could jump, I could get over there. Dang it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, back we go. Oh, that sucks, Tajay. Dang it. Cash hungry mobile games. <laughs> Yep. And at least you recognize that, though, Tajay. At least you recognize that. I would probably do something similar, so I just don't even open that Pandora's box. Too dangerous. Although it's funny, like, when these um, mobile companies talk about their whales, whales for a lot of these games spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a free game. Which is incredible. But I mean, they're like, you know, they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars. A hundred thousand dollars is kind of like me spending a hundred bucks in a game. <laughs> it's, it's no big deal for them. I still can't do anything else with that. Let me get back to the main map. Okay, I just need to get one more section over. It looks like there's a bridge up there. You know, when I'm fighting these guys, I can play a little bit carelessly. I gotta watch out, but I'm not even blocking or dodging. I'm just smashing them. What was in here? I don't remember. You definitely have to go back and check out... Oh, this is a shopkeeper. Yeah, you have to go back and check things out because you, with new abilities, you can go to new places. Uh, what do I want to unlock? This. This is probably like the best item in the game. 1,000? I can't afford that. How much is a coin? Oh, what a deal. 999. <laughs> I think I'll save my money. We got to earn some more money. Oh, same Sashima. That's where the majority of my um, giveaway keys come from, is like Humble Bundles, you know? Which is wonderful. I mean, I buy like 10 games for, what, 10 bucks? I get two or three I'm really looking forward to, and then there's some duplicates or whatever that's great for um, a giveaway. Oh, I never played those, um, Tajay. I played some of the original Mega Man games, but is the Battle Network, is that like a, like a fighting game or something? What is that one? Okay, let's see where this one teleports us. It might not all require jumping to do something cool. Oh, oh. And I think that's where I was before, yeah. This, I think, is fast travel. I think this is fast traveling. It's up here. Looks like a dead end. Oh, no, we can keep walking. Oh, there she is. We haven't figured out how to save her yet. This is kind of what I was talking about the story. We're trying to get her out of there. That's so cute. She's waving at us. Hi, Mom. If your mom. I want these items you got here. Oh, it's a card collection strategy game. Okay. I remember there was a fighting Mega Man game, but it might have been in the arcades only? I'm not sure. That's awesome, dude. That's great you're getting your collection. Um, I'm still looking forward to the... What is it called? 
Ninja Turtles Kawabunga collection. I'm a big Ninja Turtles fan. Actually, I got that new one, uh, Shredder's Revenge. I have not played it yet. That's one thing I'm looking forward to going to visit my parents is that my brother loved Ninja Turtles when we were kids and his kid will be into it as well. So we'll get that big multiplayer game going. Okay, let's see where this fast travel thing takes us. This could be really useful. What is this? Oh, is this going to be a boss battle? Is this a sword upgrade? What is this? I thought it was going to take me out of here. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? I can't seem to interact with it. Train doesn't do anything. I must have to do something else to unlock it. All right, we'll be back. This game is nothing if not cryptic. I do have a couple of those collections. Um, like I have that Atari game collection, which honestly, Atari games are really hard to go back to. I played Atari when I was a kid. That was my first gaming system, but you gotta have a lot of imagination. Most of them don't play very well. What's behind this one? Okay, this one is fast travel. Okay, so I was kind of correct. Some of these are gonna be fast travel. This is exactly where I wanted to go. Nice. Um, but I have that, a couple Konami collections. I have the Contra one and the first Castlevania collection. I haven't gotten the Game Boy Advance collection yet. Okay, so from here, I'm trying to find... Now we're finally here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get to those big statues. Like there's one here at the top left, top right, kind of all over the place. I just can't run along that. Let's go this way. So you do battle with NPCs a lot, but you have a collection of chips which set up a deck for use, and they're randomly distributed every turn and uh, for certain abilities and attacks. And it makes for a good combo strategy to beat big fights. So you still do some like classic Mega Man gameplay, but in combination of kind of card battles. It's not like turn-based or anything, right? You know, I might actually be able to take out that crab now. When I first came here, I was pretty dang weak. Oh, that's awesome, Sashima. I really appreciate that, dude. Actually, I, I recently went through all my humble monthly bundles and kind of looked up a lot of trailers for games and saw what they were. And I made a list of games I want to claim on my Steam library. It's like, oh, I kind of skipped over these, but they actually look pretty cool. So let's see what this does. Bong. Hey, what did that give me? What did that do? <laughs> I mean, I have to do that to all of these, but I don't know exactly what that did for me. Now, does that show up differently? It doesn't show up differently on the map, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I probably have some duplicates, but there is a lot of great games in that bundle, so they'll, they'll be perfect for giveaways. Yeah, I try to get... I don't get every Humble Bundle. I do get the monthlies, but... Uh, if there's just a couple games I'm interested in, I'll usually pick it up because it's also for charity as well. So that's nice. Let's see, oh, a salmon burger. I think that's what you meant to say, burger. That sounds really interesting. I've never had a salmon burger. Oh, I forgot that they explode. That's right, ouch. Borger, it's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse, Krim. How do I get down there? Oh, is there a way over here? No? Oh, they found a way. Okay, if they can get around, can I? Oh no, they can walk in the water, but I can't. <laughs> Krim, you're never going to get it right. I can go up this ladder. Oh, I totally missed that in the background. Here we go. Wait. 
Can I cross that? I think it's just right down that way, isn't it? Oh no, it's it's a little bit further down. But yeah, Devil May Cry games, fantastic. I only ever played the first and the third one on the PS2, but I loved them both. Let's try to take out this guy. Before, I didn't have a chance. Okay, so you have to hit him as soon as he opens up his claws. That's the trick. Good, before he scared the crap out of me, I had no idea what to do. But now, we've upgraded our defense enough where I really don't take a lot of damage when I get hit. Uh, where do I go? Back here? There we go. Oh god, no Sashima. <laughs> I don't think so. That'd be really tough. Oh, nice. Are they pretty... Are they like story-based games, Tashe? Or how does that work with like a card battle game? But yeah, that'll be great to experience it. Okay, let's pray at this. Now, I do get some of those little blue things, which brings my mana back. But I really don't know how much that helps me. Ow. Why don't you come over here and say that? I hate these guys. <laughs> they just hide in the background. You can't even hit them. Okay, that's a dead end for me. Action RPG. Nice. So, which of those, because there's more than one of those games, right? You said it's a collection. Which one's your favorite? Okay, so we've done two of them. Um, looks like it's kind of a straight shot across these bridges to get to the next one. I have to get my revenge on this guy. He's only worth five, but it's better than nothing. We need a thousand of those, whatever that currency is. Now I get these guys easily. Oh, almost. So I was turned around the wrong way. Really, it helps just to bring those guys closer to you, I think. Oh, I forgot that's an explosive one. Ouch. Look at all the crabs. Do you guys like crab? Or seafood in general? Shellfish? I love crab. Actually, when I go to my parents' house, that is absolutely going to be one of the meals we have is crab. I don't know how expensive it is right now, though. Usually me and Andy go and pick up crab. Well, that was actually a, a decent amount of money for that. <laughs> I forgot that they explode, Sashima. I only figured out when it's too late. Oh, you never tasted crab? Um, do you like shrimp, Krem? Um, I think crab is better than shrimp, but I could see some similarities between the two. Or lobster. Um, lobster and crab, I go back and forth on. I love them both. I, I think I like crab more. It's a lot more work, though, to get all your food. But luckily, Andy loves to crack crab even more than she likes to eat it. She does like crab. So uh, usually as I'm cracking my own crab, she's also cracking crab for me. Oh, if you love shrimp, you should definitely try out crab sometime. Definitely, Krim. <laughs> Every single one, Sashima, I will forget it explodes. Whether it's a pot, whether it's an enemy. Oh, out about that stuff. Okay, so I need to 
equip the gas mask thing down here. This protects me from that purple stuff. Wait, that didn't protect me. Is that different? That was weird. I could have sworn the gas mask protects me. There might be something else. I'm going to try that shield. Let's see what that one does. Okay, how close are we? Looks like it's further back. <laughs> That's awesome, Krem. <laughs> That's like Andy with shrimp, or with crab, absolutely. Come on. Forget how you hit these guys. Before, I think I used to just lower them out. Oh, that'll take forever. I know we don't have to go back that way, so I'll skip that for now. Oh, those guys used to be so dang tough. But I thought I killed that guy. Is he still alive? So there's two collections, Taje, and the first will have one and two and both versions of three. And the second will have both versions of five, six, or four, five, and six. And you're not really sure you had a favorite. You think three was the one you spent the most time with. Maybe the most nostalgia for three. That would make sense. But they're all so really good. Oh, that's good. Oh, I streamed Amnesia, Sashima. Um, I haven't played Machine for Pigs, but I do have it. But that was a great game. I loved Amnesia. I think it's right here. Here we go. Okay, so this will be all four of these obelisks in this area. Now, what does that do? I don't know. Oh, I get it, Sashima. <laughs> do I have amnesia from playing it? Vroom! Right over my head. But has anybody played A Machine for Pigs? I heard it wasn't as good as the original, but it's still not bad. It's just different. Okay, now that we've done all of those, maybe I should go into that center area and see if something changed. Let's go ahead and replenish her health and stuff. You, I bet speedruns of this game are pretty dang quick because this fox can run when you're just trying to be in a hurry. Um, how do I get to that center area? Oh, just down here. Get out of here. Okay, so there's this really large statue. Oh, but they're all lit up now, right? Stop it. Okay, let's try this out. Can I pray here? Oh! Something's happening. Wait, was that it? What did that do for me? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to walk in as soon as the gate is about to happen. Oh yeah, it teleports you. You just have to walk in there at the right time. I have no idea where we are. Whoa, look at that castle. That's pretty cool. It's like a castle in the sky. Have you guys all seen that movie? Please tell me you've seen Castle in the Sky. It's so good. And it's not. It feels... Uh, more of the same, which you think fell flat because there was a heavy modding community making custom games. So when it came out, it just felt like another mod. Oh, that's a bummer, Sashima. But for me, I guess it probably wouldn't be a problem because I haven't played any of the mods. Oh, nice, Tajay. Nice. Yeah, I really love Portal. Portal games were great. Okay, do I have to pray to this right here? I feel like I need to pray every time I see... Giant fox. Um, let's try going this way. Oh, the camera changes. Nice. Where am I? Oh, back there. We're in the bookshelf. <laughs> That's cute. 
Yes, 99. I mean, I'm not a huge anime person, um, but I do love me some Studio Ghibli. Actually, when I went to Japan, we wanted to go to the Ghibli Museum, but we're not able to, unfortunately. Next time. Next time. The Great Library. All right. I love the sun-drenched colors in here. This looks awesome. Is that coffee? I'll be having coffee shortly. Oh, I'm too small. I can't get up there. Oh no, is that an enemy? It looks like it wants to fight me, doesn't it? Okay, I'm probably supposed to pray there. How do I get up there? Let's try praying. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. <laughs> That's another one to watch. It's not for everybody, but if you've never seen Twin Peaks, I recommend you check it out. I don't know who's streaming it right now. It might be on Amazon. Um, maybe Showtime, unfortunately. But if you can, try watching Twin Peaks. Where does this take me? Oh, great. Back here, but I can't reach this. Oh, awesome, Sashima. Thank me. That'd be great for giveaways for, like, Halloween, too. I love to give away spooky games then. Okay, so we, we still can't do anything there until we learn to jump whatever we need to get those. But I can go up this staircase and see what's up here. If anything. Oh, another ladder. Nice. Oh, that's good, 99. I think we have most of our favorites on Blu-ray, but I definitely don't have the entire collection. The first Studio Ghibli movie I ever saw was My Neighbor Totoro, and I actually saw it as a kid. Like, I didn't even know what anime was at the time, but I loved it. And then, uh, what was the next one? I think I saw Spirited Away when it first came out. I was working at Blockbuster Video, so I think I watched it right away when it got released here. And that one might be my favorite. I love Spirited Away. Andy's yelling Princess Mononoke. That one's really good, too. I did see that after the other one. Um, for me, I saw Mononoke after Spirited Away. What is this? Looks like they're experimenting, creating all the different things that we have. Can I get that instruction manual? Thank you. What is this? Oh, this is the cathedral. This is where we are. Legend says wearing this allows you to do something extraordinary. Wearing what? I don't know what that is. There's the backside. Oh, this is t telling me how to use the fast travel. That's where all the different places teleport you. Okay. Yeah, see, we've actually been to most of these areas. There's all kinds of instructions here. This is great. The door in the mountains. We don't know how to open that yet. We did find it. Oh, this explains, or at least it gives me names of all these things. I guess it doesn't really tell me what they are. Oh, the tincture. Looks like it's attack up, armor down. Hmm. But what's the deal with the 60 seconds at the bottom? And it says, shh. I don't know what that means. Some kind of clue. Oh, to request a game on, on uh, for John Cadia's stream, Sashima? Um, I think it's just exclamation point redeem game or redeem choose game. I forget what the command is. If you look at the command list, if you type exclamation point commands, I think it'll give it to you. But um, essentially you need to have 5,000 tokens and then you can request any game you want. Here's another one, the quarry. We have explored this area quite a bit. The monastery has like a little light icon. I'm not sure what that is. Gun? We never found the gun. Lower miasma. Oh, we use the um, gas mask for that. 
Okay, looks like I missed a gun there. We'll have to go back to the quarry. Lemur's friend, Lost Echo. I don't think I've seen Lost Echo yet. This zone is extremely dangerous and is best left alone, even if you're feeling brave. Only ghosts permitted to enter the inner grounds. I don't know if I've been in there at all. I don't think so. <laughs> now, if you request a game that is over 20 hours or so, we'll only do like the first five streams is how that works. That game is just too dang long. <laughs> I'm sure it's amazing. It's just so long. It would take me half a year to beat it on stream. Oh, here's another one of these. I'm assuming I'm supposed to pray at all these. Oh, it's turning this thing on. What's going on here? If <laughs> we want the entire playthrough, John. <laughs> I'm scared it's going to zap me if I touch it. Oh, there's a save point up here. There we go. Nice. It could take the whole year in John time. Just imagine, I get about 10 hours a week on average. And it's, what, a 150-hour game? at least. But if it's like 150 hours, it's going to take me probably 200 hours because of, I take breaks chatting and things like that. So yeah, maybe over that 200 hours, 20 weeks, at least half a year, I'm sure. I will take that 128. Heck yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Alex, Persona 5? I have been summoned. What's up, Alex? Good to see you, dude. It's like when somebody's talking about you, you're like, you get a little itch on your ear. You're like, hmm, somebody's talking about me. That's so funny. And we want to see the grinding. <laughs> if it's 100 hours average, then it'll probably be 150 for me, is my guess. Usually you can add about 30% to a game time. 30 to 50%. So where does this one take me? Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't hold it in all the way. Yeah, there, you could actually, there's kind of a formula you could figure out how long it would take you, Sashima, but essentially you get a token every 10 minutes when you're in the stream and you get uh, two tokens if you're subscribed every 10 minutes. Plus all the tokens we drop for you guys to um, catch and stuff. It adds up pretty quick if you're consistently in here, though. I know a lot of people will just they'll come in, lurk, and then boom. They have like hundreds of tokens. <laughs> I love it. How many years it took me to record and stream your footage. <laughs> That's crazy, Alex. Or hours, sorry, hours. I mean, for me, it would take years. Uh, am I missing any other instruction book pieces? I don't think so. There was all kinds of goodies in here. This is awesome. Okay, so... I guess there's another floor to check out. Oh, I saw that 99. I think it's also coming out for Steam, finally, which is great. I gotta say, even when a game's on Game Pass, I know Game Pass is gonna be temporary if, unless it's a microsoft game they're not going to last all that long there so i'm still buying a lot of games on steam even if they are on game pass if i know it's something i want to keep in my library especially because i can play it on the um what do you call it uh, steam deck which you the only way to play what is this a uh, game pass on the steam deck right now is to stream it i think is this a boss battle oh this is a boss battle oh no the librarian. I should probably dodge through that. Oh no! He summoned things. Ouch. I gotta heal. I have hardly even touched this guy. 
Oh, I can bring him forward, though. Oh, not very much, though. Oh, he got me. Oh. Well, luckily, you don't lose all your experience, though. Okay, I think I'm going to have to level up a little bit before we take him on. I didn't do very much damage to him at all. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Nice. Oh, I'd love to see it getting more uh, availability. Sony definitely had that game locked down for a long time. Same thing with uh, Final Fantasy VII. I'm so excited for you to finally release that, Alex. That's awesome. That's true. You do d get discounts on Game Pass. However, I don't think any discounts anywhere will ever measure up to Steam discounts. Steam sales are stupid, especially because you don't even just get them on Steam. You kind of get them everywhere. How do I get down there? Didn't I climb up those books? Actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that. I can use the teleporter, right? There's this teleporter right here. Okay, so we can kind of use this to figure out where we want to go next. Oh, that's perfect, Sashima. That's the easiest way. Well, honestly, Discord is a pretty good way, too. I always be sure to ping everybody on Discord before we go live. And you also sub to build points. Um, and you will request cross code if you don't get to it first. Oh, that's awesome. You request Chrono Trigger or Cross, but you're like 30% sure it would take you two years to complete one of them. Chrono Trigger isn't that long, is it? I think Chrono Trigger is more like a 30, 40 hour RPG. I never played it. I did play Chrono Cross, but uh, not Trigger yet, which is a big dark spot on my gaming history that needs to be re remedied. Um, okay, so I got all four of those. I'm trying to see where else are those big monolith things to push down. I'm not even sure if that's really what I'm supposed to be doing right now. We're just kind of testing things out. Artemis! How's it going, Artemis? Welcome back. That's true, though. When it's a brand new game, 99, that's not a bad deal. That's definitely not a bad deal. Although, I've got so many games, I'm often pretty patient, so I can wait for even better sales. It's like, it's rare I buy a game that's not at least 50% off. Unless I want to play it right away for stream, of course. Then I'm impatient. Um, what's with that big candle? I don't know if we've done that yet. Oh, there is another obelisk over there. Okay, so we should probably try to get to the West Garden. Let's see which of these things is the West Garden. So luckily we just unlocked a new page that kind of tells us where all of these teleporters go. Yeah, right here. So West Garden is on the far left. Oh, what? Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Why is it not active? Unfortunately, I can't take that sword yet. I wish I could. Wizard 101? I'm not sure what that is. Is that a game? I don't think you can gift a sub to me, Sashima. Technically, a streamer always has a tier three sub to his own channel, just so he can use all the emotes. No, I can't use that one. Dang it. Okay. So if we can't use that one, I guess Town Ruins is probably the best. And we could just run over there. I wonder why I can't fast travel there. We must be missing something. Oh, I have to actually go there and pray to that site, don't I? Oh my gosh, what a rude... Welcome. What's going on here? As soon as I spawn here, I'm getting accosted. <laughs> oh, old school RuneScape. I never played it back in the day, but I did try the old school RuneScape briefly on my phone. And it seemed pretty neat, if you like that old style MMO. Oh, that's an MMO from 2008? I've never even heard of that one, 99. I've played quite a few MMOs, but mostly the classic ones. I played Ultima Online, EverQuest, Dark Age of Camelot, uh, of course, World of Warcraft when that came out. So right now I'm just kind of booking my way over to the east side. 
or I guess it's west side. Where am I? Right there. I want to go up and then to the left. Okay. But what's in here first? Oh, did you play Dark Age of Camelot, Artemis? Nice. Yeah, something about those old school MMOs just hits very different. I think it's because of how difficult they were and unfriendly to players they were. That every little bit of progress you made felt that much more special, you know? Andy and I tried playing World of Warcraft again recently, the retail version. I think we got to the max level in like four days of casual play. It was ridiculous. And it just kind of made me feel like, I didn't earn this. <laughs> what just happened? How are we already done with this game? Okay, there's nothing I can use to jump up there. Oh, that's good, 99. Oh, so it's it's a free MMO, 99. Is that right? Okay, I think we're getting close to be able to climb up there again. Yeah, I'm trying to get up there. Think I can go this way? Yeah, <laughs> true. You're just too old to be the target demographic. <laughs> oh, the browser-based MMOs. What was the other one that was really big? Um, Maple Story or something like that? I never played any of those browser MMOs, but that was huge, especially for kids that, you know, um, didn't have money to pay for a monthly fee. That was awesome to have a, a game they could easily play. Need to get back up there. Oh! I was up there earlier. That's where I need to cross over? Hold on. Let's get back down here. Yeah, I saw another one of those things I'm supposed to press down. And to be honest, because of the cryptic nature of this game, everything I'm doing right now could be optional. I have no idea. Oh, you it is something you actually download. 99, okay. I know there were a lot of browser-based MMOs, too, that, yeah, there was, like, nothing to install. So even if your parents blocked your computer from installing stuff, you could still play those games. Let me get in that area. This place is such a maze. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much how they do it now, I think, Artemis. It just goes straight to endgame, and you start grinding those uh, epic items and whatever currency they have, um, reputation, that kind of thing. Although, for me, I think the journey is also part of my favorite part of an MMO, and World of Warcraft just doesn't have a journey, unless you play Classic, of course. Okay, we made it here. I need to go straight down, and that should take me to that. I want to get back into Final Fantasy XIV again. Um, I got into the final expansion and we just started it. But I still have quite a bit to go in that. But I was really liking it. Oh, he froze me! <laughs> Jerk. Hate those guys. That's cool to see. I love it that uh, a lot of these older games are still around because if nobody was playing it, they would shut down the server and there'd be no way to play it again unless somebody made a custom, you know, player server. Which is a bummer because, like, if nobody runs that, the game's just lost to time. Um, I was also thinking about trying that Lord of the Rings online game. I've heard good things about that from, like, a very classic MMO standpoint can't get up there. I forgot about that. I don't know how to actually reach that. And unfortunately, that's too far away to pray to it. So yeah, I might need... Oh! Oh! What the hell is that? Am I supposed to go walk around and pray to every wall now? Looking for secrets? Nice! Another coin! 
<laughs> okay, I would not have expected that. That was totally random. I wasn't even trying to do that. Oh, unfortunately, I don't have a way to get up there. Okay, that's where the teleporter is going to be. How do I get to that side, though? Nothing to link to. Hmm. The plot thickens. A death wizard? That's a cool name for a class. <laughs> Not a necromancer. Death wizard. These guys are worth a decent amount of... Uh... Oh, I saved it. That's why these guys are back. How much money we got? Oh, we're almost at a thousand, so we should probably grind just enough money to get that next health potion upgrade. Oh, that's cool. It's so much fun to get your partner into an MMO, because those are some of the best games to play together with somebody. They're very long, there's a lot you can do, but you're really working together and bonding over it. It's so much fun. Nothing I can grapple onto to get down quickly. What else is here? I don't remember anything really being on that side very useful. There is an arrow pointing on the instruction manual, but I'm not sure what that's referring to. I don't think we can get there yet. You know what? I think the shopkeeper might have been up there. I'm just like button mashing through these guys now because <laughs> we don't they don't do much damage. Not like they used to. Okay, we got everything in there. Oh nice! So you played way back in the day, Artemis, and then just picked it up again. It feels like a totally different game, doesn't it? I did the same thing where I played vanilla way back in the day, and then when I jumped back into it with my wife. I, like, didn't recognize a lot of the areas I'd played before. Like, I forget which expansion it was, but they actually changed a lot of the layouts and quests. I'm just like, what the heck is going on here? Dang, okay, so we can't do that yet. Oh, I wonder if I can pray at this thing. I don't, I don't know if it'll do anything, but it's worth a shot. I just never know where a secret's gonna be. Oh, is PvP a big part of that game, 99? Hmm. Yeah, anybody else familiar with this game kind of have an idea of what I should be doing next? I thought I had a great idea of unlocking all those things, but I can't even reach half of them because uh, I don't know if it's that I can't jump or something I'm missing. I'm going to be so upset if I could jump the whole time. I just didn't know how. And I find an instruction book that tells me how to do it. Seriously. Okay, there was one around here. I gotta figure out how to get in there. Is it down this way? Oh, how did I miss this? It's been there the whole time. It kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy a little bit, 99, where it does have PvP, but the majority of the game's the story content. Same, Krim. I'm definitely much more of a PvE person. Where did I see that? I think it's that door down there. How do I get over there? Let's take that guy out. At least when I re-explore areas in this game, 
you're still making progress. You're still making money, still getting better. Oh no, there's no ladder up, okay. There's a chest I missed. Hello. I don't think I remember what those do. <laughs> there we go. Even when you're high level, those things are still kind of dangerous. How many coins do I have? Two. Okay, I think we need one more coin to unlock a new ability slot. Did I already check out over here? There we go. I must have. I just don't remember. Wait, this looks kind of new. No, we haven't done this yet. Oh crap, we're getting shot from both sides. I try to get two hits off, but that's too greedy. Gotta do one at a time. There we go. What's this? An hourglass. Is this a new ability? Check our inventory. It is. Okay, what does that do? Does this just freeze everybody? I'm gonna try praying here. So you never know where there's gonna be a secret. See, that's pretty cool that they give you a year option for that 99 at a discount because if you know you're gonna be playing it anyway, all the time, might as well just do the whole thing. Oh, and you can earn premium coins, which can pay for your monthly fee, right? I, I've seen other games, I think WoW even does that, where you can earn some kind of tokens. And when you do that, you can sell them to other players. That doesn't actually tell me what that is. I think it's a warning. Okay, we gotta try that hourglass and see what it does exactly. I've already been that way. Here's somebody we could try it on. Oh, it slows everything down. Not just them. I don't know if that helped me or hurt me. It's cool as hell. <laughs> it's almost harder to play, honestly. I bet there's going to be specific really fast things that it's going to be really useful for. I remember killing this guy before. I forget how I did it. I think I just kind of like walked around him. Yeah, if you dodge, you get a hit off real quick. Oh god. You can get a hit. They're pretty tough, though. Oh, too far away. Yeah, see, I hardly do any damage to them. Even with all my upgrades. They're meant to be pretty tough. Oh, but they're worth 36. Nice. Actually, let's switch that hourglass back to this. I think this is my favorite other ability, this like, what do you call it? Kind of like a fire wand, because it's great for far away enemies that don't want to come close to fight. These guys are the worst. Oh, I still don't know how to get that. See, once I can get that, I 
think there's a lot of other things I can get to. Got to be a jumping ability, right? Okay, we probably want to go back to the shop and buy our upgrade. Where are we? Have we opened up this door yet? I'm going to try praying here, see if that does anything to these doors. No. Oh. I know, right, Krem? What the heck? Why can't we jump? Maybe we can, I just don't know how. But I, I think it's an ability you need to unlock. Fairly sure. I haven't looked it up or anything, but it kind of makes sense to me. Oh, we should, um... Put those coins we picked up in here. Let me swap to that. We have two, which won't do anything by itself. I think we need three. But we'll be ready next time. Okay, the shop, I believe, is right over here. This was it, wasn't it? No. Where was it? It's not in the old house. I wish they would mark it differently. So you could tell what the shopkeeper was. I think it's in one of these caves. Is it that one over there? Luckily, nothing's too far away. The map makes things look far away, but they're not. Oh, I, I overshot it. Oops. How did I do that? Right down here. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Is this the cave? Oh. Okay, so last time I saw something like this, we got the hourglass. Should I try using the hourglass on that symbol? I have to try it. <laughs> I don't think it does anything. Worth a shot. So one other thing we saw on the instruction manual I know I can try to get is um, the gun. I don't know what the gun does, if it's any different than my fire wand. I gotta find that shop though. Oh, it's the um, windmill, right? Because it's got like eyes in there. I think it's the windmill. Okay, good. We're like actually right there. I knew that. I meant to do that. Yeah, it's right back here. Okay, so. I think for me, the most important thing will be more of these potions. Coin's pretty nice too, though, because when we have a third coin, we'll get a new ability to kind of have active at once, but I'll do this for now. Nice, right, so now we have six potions we can use anytime. People mostly use it for PvP, but you can get mounts and pets and stuff. For PvE stuff, that's probably what I would do. I always like mounts in games. Okay, let's try to get back to the Forbidden Pass. And, um... What is that question mark down there? From the Forbidden Pass, we can try... Damn. Oh, that's a teleporter. Okay. 
at the Forbidden Pass, we can try to go get the gun. Going the right way? Yeah, I think this takes me there. I think we have to climb down, right? Or can I go across this? Yeah, you can't go past that. This way, gosh. It's such a weird isometric maze, it's crazy. So these guys are tough, so I'm just gonna bring him down to fall. And we'll keep on going. He doesn't die, unfortunately. I don't get the money for that. I wonder if we can pray at that dead save point and bring it back to life. I kind of doubt it, but that'd be cool. Already at 1,200 tokens, Alex. It doesn't feel like it was very long ago that you actually requested the game. Let's try this. <laughs> Essentially, that's what we're doing, right, Krem? <laughs> ah, Call of Duty. Oh, okay, so I just noticed something. As we are turning those things, pushing them down, it looks like it's charging those beams of purple. I don't know what the deal is with that, but probably significant. Oh, maybe that turned on the save point. Maybe it was connected to that. Maybe that's why they called it dead earlier, because it didn't have a charge. Let's see. I love this area. It looks so cool. Here's another one. We have to keep this charge going. Yeah, so I bet now that we've learned how to activate these things, we have to go back to every world and activate them all because there's some kind of new thing you unlock, I'm guessing. That's how we got to the Great Library. Oh yeah, look, it's active now. So we can save it, finally. Which sucked. If I ever died in here, I had to go walk all the way back across all that. And we can activate this uh, teleporter. So now we have an active waypoint here. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to go back right now, but just want to make sure we had that. Oh, and you know what? I could take a shortcut. We took this shortcut earlier to get back up. Now I can take it down. Oh god, I'm dying. Hold on. I need to equip this real quick. Ooh, that sucked. Hold on, I'm going back up. <laughs> We're going to save it again. I just lost a bunch of my maximum health because of that. So this whole area is kind of radioactive. And if you're not wearing your gas mask, it destroys you. Oh no, Alex. Do you know why you have back pains? That's way too early to be broken. <laughs> Knock on wood. Still no real back problems. Early this year, I really tweaked my back, but it's because I was doing like uh, deadlifts, which is a terrible exercise to do anyway. And I was not having great form, so that just caused me to hurt myself. That sucked. So I remember way up here, there was a really big black kind of cube door. I wonder if we can open it with our new prayer ability. Was it? Wasn't it right up here? Oh, is it open? This was not open before. Oh, I think us charging those things actually opened it. Okay. You think it's the bed? Oh, no. Hopefully, have you thought about getting like a... Um, those like Tempur-Pedic, what do you call them? Memory foam like toppers. It's way cheaper than getting like a mattress. And uh, some people have really good luck with those. I feel like these guys are all gonna come to life and attack me. I don't like it. Where there's no secrets. At $14.99? <laughs> At that age, you might wanna just ask a doctor, hey, What's going on with me? This isn't right. <laughs> Way too early for those kind of aches and pains. 
Oh, you already have one of those. Never mind, Alex. That's not going to help. Maybe you're like Benjamin Button. Maybe you start really old and you're eventually going to get younger. What is this? I feel like this is going to be a boss battle. Where is it taking me? Whoa, look at that. Oh, that's so neat. This place is massive. I hope I don't just die and have to come back here because it's a bit of a trip. Luckily, I don't have too many... Too much currency to lose inside the ziggurat. Oh no, 99. So there's some kind of like weird growth thing going on, huh? I'm going to start praying at random places. Because <laughs> after I found that one random secret doing that, I feel like every door, every wall could be a door. It reminds me of playing Wolfenstein and Doom back in the day. I used to just kind of walk around and touch all the walls looking for secrets. What is this? Is that a save point? I think that was a save point. That's cool. Looks different. Lots of dead ends over here. Oh gosh, where did they come from? Luckily, they still go down with one hit. The only problem is when they're on a different plane that you are. Then you can't hit them because they're just too far away. Yeah, just shoot them. That just goes back up. Let's see what's down this way. So many ways to go. Oh man, two of them? Holy cow. It's tough defending against two of those at once. It uses a lot of stamina. You can actually get these things to uh, shoot each other. That's kind of cool. Ow, ow, ow. I'm really glad I got all those extra potions. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of damage here. Oh, it's scoliosis. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so instead of your spine leaning left or right, it bends the opposite way front to back. And your mom has a lot of hereditary joint issues. Well, good that you can um, identify that stuff early. Did you have to wear like a back brace or anything to help out with that? I think my stepsister has that. And she had to wear like a brace, I think. I might be thinking of something else, but it was some kind of weird back kind of like spine growth thing. Well, it's messed up. It's like, it's just hereditary genetic. Nothing you can do about it. You just uh, have to deal with it. You just look at your parents and say, thanks. <laughs> Didn't need this. Oh, look at that. You can hit that and activate it. it looks like there should be a way to get back there to that um, chest, but I don't see how. I hope so, Alex. <laughs> I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt to get checked out. I'm not sure what healthcare is like where you're at, but hopefully it's not too expensive. Not like here. In the States, healthcare is kind of a joke. Oh, we can go up this side. Here we go. That makes more sense. Take the cash.
Wait a second. Haven't we been over here? Yeah, I think I killed those guys. Oh, do we have a map of this place? I think we do. I think we found it at the library. Not that. Is it this? No, because there's no skeletons here. It's called the Ziggurat. Maybe I don't have a map of the Ziggurat. Yeah, that was all of them. I don't think so. Um, did I miss another path this way? This is kind of a nice shortcut to skip a lot of stuff, I guess. Do you sleep pretty well, though, Alex? Even though you got back pain, like... I always sleep like a baby. I fall asleep immediately every time I lay, lay my head in bed. Andy gets upset because she doesn't. Oh, it's a fake! Oh, screw that. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we need to heal. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure how to dodge that attack. It takes up like the whole map. Oh, you can dodge through it. Okay. Almost got him. Ow. Oh, he's not dead yet. Phase two. Oh dear. You can pull him towards you. Okay, good. Oh, ow. Luckily, that pulling him towards you action usually interrupts his attack, so you can get a few good hits in. Oh, I'm out of him. Wait. No, we're not. Here we go. Do we have a third phase? Oh, thank goodness. Ugh, I used, like, all my healing on that guy. Jeez. I've got no potions left. I need a new, uh... Another save point. So you can fall asleep in the most uncomfortable situations, and only rarely can you can't fall asleep fast. Okay, so kind of similar to me. Although I'm not sure if I'd fall asleep in an uncomfortable situation. I only sleep in my bed, and it's pretty comfy. Oh, nice, Alex. <laughs> I like that dichotomy we have together. I think I saw a chest over here. Where was that? Not the side. Oh, over here. Here we go. Oh, I have to go to the other side. I think those give you mana back. Oh, you know what? We do have... These things, which these give you health, right? Yeah, we should use these. Okay, we're back at full health. Just in case. I'd really hate to lose all this progress. Oh, this thing's making me dizzy. Okay, we can use this to get to the bottom, I think. Oh, so you actually, your back feels better if you sleep on the couch instead of the bed, is that right? That definitely kind of makes me think there might be something up with your bed that your back doesn't like. All right, I think this is where we're supposed to go. I feel like this is gonna be a boss. The size of that chest. Oh, another one of these, sweet. I don't remember what that does. You know, I just realized I still have the gas mask on. We should switch it with something else. Let's do that one. I, I don't know what that means. It's like a shield with like a short energy bar. Maybe 
it helps us when we're low on energy, like we have better defense. Oh, so you don't have a bed, only the couch. Um, when you're asleep, you don't feel like if you're uncomfortable. It's just you feel the consequences. Yeah, if you're sleeping on an uncomfy couch, that is probably exactly why you have back problems. However, not the easiest problem to fix, right? Oh, this looks evil. Can I pray him away? <laughs> I feel like I should be able to do something because uh, it's got those three lights lit up. Hold on. How do I get down that side? I don't see another ladder. I guess we don't. <laughs> well, I mean, we've been using our prayer to move those big columns. It looks like it's connected to them. But I think that's just foreshadowing something we're going to have to fight later. Down we go. I was not prepared for that. Where are we going? Oh, I need to save so bad. I feel so naked without potions to help me. Oh, look at all these things. Okay, maybe they're not bad. I feel they're bad. Oh, did you guys see they're making like a new Marilyn Monroe movie on Netflix? I think it's called Blonde. It's got that girl from... Uh, using Blade Runner and... What else was that? Um, Knives Out. That was a great movie. I actually really like that actress, but... Man, that's a hard role to live up to, isn't it? Oh, they trapped those things in there. So every one of those I've been opening up had one of them in there? Interesting. I don't think they like going in there. Oh, those are creepy noises. I don't like it. <gasps> Save point. Oh, thank goodness. Now I feel like I can explore a little bit safer. We have not been to this side yet. Their eyes are lit up. They look like they're just sleeping. But they're not waking up. Let's keep going this way. Oh, that's a trap! Oh my lord. That hurt. Oh, they're full of that stuff. I need to heal. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, he got me. Oh, man. I wasn't really too worried because that trap just screwed me. We could just run right back there because we're so close to the uh, checkpoint. That's why I wasn't really using healing potions. It's like, oh, I'll just save it. We'll just collect that. Oh, they come back anyway, huh? I think what I'm going to do is equip that gas mask again, because I feel like we're still getting killed by that stuff. Oh, have some good sleep, Krim. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Great to see you, as always. Hope your back doesn't hurt after sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I pulled my back working out, I was completely debilitated. It was so embarrassing. I was like, what? happened? Am I just getting old all of a sudden? Which, yeah, I am, but still. 
Like, it doesn't have to be that quick. Come on, big money. <gasps> Is that another potion? Hell yeah! Oh, wow. That's like a huge thing. I'm kind of surprised it was just in a random chest like that. That was pretty easy to get, honestly. And Lady Jester, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. How are you doing? Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, wrong button. I accidentally wasted a heal. There we go. It's so satisfying when you can kill him that quickly. Okay, let's jump across back here. I have to run back to where I was. I probably could have just run past those things. They don't really give me any money, I don't think. Oh no, where are these guys? Okay, so it still seems to affect me like that. Even though I've got the gas mask on. Okay. Ow! I gotta heal. Ow. Ow, oh, they're tenacious. They're tough to hit. They hang back just far enough so they can get a hit off really easily. Come on. Time that wrong. I'll just shoot you then. Take that. <laughs> Other guy, how's it going? It feels really difficult. I'm like, I'm not sure if I should be here yet. Speaking of which, oh my goodness, my entire like life bar is gone. I think I might want to go back anyway. <laughs> yeah, these energy spiders suck. Yeah, I really, the last thing I kind of discovered, other guy, is how to pray and bring down those big colorful columns. So I've been doing that and unlocking new areas. And then poof, I'm here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this place is tricky. Okay, let's try that again with less energy spider death. I wonder what the good, good solution to these guys are. I mean, I could do this. Oh, maybe that's the trick. Drop them in that stuff. I'm gonna try to run past this. Oh, you can't. There's too much of it. Ow, 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 ow. They're too fast. Let's try this. Oh, I'm too far away. Or they're too close to me. I guess on a bridge, you could just wail on them. And they can't do much. Because they try to, like, back up, and they can't back up on the bridge. So you can get a lot of hits off. It's a bummer, because every time they hit you, your life bar goes down. Oh, gosh. Oh, another one behind me? I'm a goner. <laughs> oh, my lord, they're so hard. Oh, the guns are there. Never mind. We're coming back. Coming back. And they're so fast, too. And a gun. Oh, they got me. Jeez. <laughs> I almost feel like I might want to come back to this area later. Because this is really tricky. And I feel like there's still a lot of places in the other areas of the map I haven't unlocked yet. 
It's so interesting because you don't really know what the path is. Oh, you know what? I remember now. I went back to this area through the Forbidden Pass because I wanted to get the gun. The instruction manual mentioned a gun and I haven't found it yet. So I was going to check that out. Although I think I have a lot of backtracking to do to do that. I'm not sure where the nearest teleporter is. I wonder if I even can backtrack from here. I know, the tracks are so good, Artemis. Oh, maybe there is no backtracking here. This was an elevator, wasn't it? There might not be any going back. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just going to have to deal with it, huh? Dang, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how far leveled up I am. My highest stat is five for my attack. A few fours, a three, and a couple twos. My strat will probably be running past them, hoping for the best. So this first guy that teleports behind me, I can drag him in here. But he's a goner. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so these guys you can't actually ignore, so I should probably just deal with them. I love that they can shoot each other. That's a pretty cool little secret. <laughs> Essentially right, other guy? I love it. Are they going to make another one of those? I wonder if uh, Johnny Depp's going to deal with Disney anymore or if he's just totally done. You have to assume they're planning on driving a big truckload of money to his house, but... So what if I block an attack? Can I strike back really quick after that? Oh, but when they surround you, that doesn't really help you, does it? Ow. I can't get their timing down. It's really tricky. When you get surrounded, it's tough. So actually, the gas mask is not helping me here. So I'm wondering if you might have an idea. Do any of these other abilities help me with maybe my life bar not going down? Oh, is that what this is? I wonder, because it has like a shield and a, a, one of the bars. I wonder if it protects my shield from dropping. That would be huge. <laughs> oh, that would be great, Artemis. Yeah. So you think they eventually did settle on an agreement where he's going to return as Sparrow? Oh, really? That kind of surprised me. I remember he said it's like, never again. But money talks, right? I don't know. And if, if, if there's an instruction manual that teaches me... No, I'll learn it, but if there isn't, I might want to know if there's one that maybe particularly helps me with that. Just because... Oops, wrong button. Ah, I did it twice! Just because... Um... Oh, I'm going to die because I keep pressing the wrong trigger. Um... I'd probably waste way more time than I'm reasonably going to want to learning what they do. Just through, like, trial and error, you know? Okay, so now that I have that equipped, let me see if it actually protects that from dropping. It would kind of make sense. I'm going to drop you. I only have to take out these two. Yeah, I've seen one that has the names of it, but that wasn't quite enough for my dumb brain to figure it out. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Yeah, 
And the worst part when you get really tricky in these spots is like you start to not be careful anymore, you know, because you get sick of redoing the same thing over and over. You become reckless and then you start making too many mistakes. Ouch. I can't hit him for some reason. That was weird. I feel like I was chopping right through him. Okay, so that is not protecting my health bar. I'm still losing health. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to run through these guys. <laughs> these guys suck, and there's no way back. <laughs> See, and that, to me, like, I don't know what that did. I'll probably never use it again, because I don't understand what it does. This one, I think, will make my health potions be more potent, which is actually really nice. I'm gonna try this again. Hey! Okay, you can run through that. Nice. Don't have time for you. I do have time for this. Just because. Oh god, oh god. Hey, they're getting shot. I have time for all of these. Oh, nope. Nope. You cannot actually open a chest when you're getting attacked. <laughs> they can't interrupt you. Okay, let's try that again. Let's get to the chest. I don't have a whole lot of experience to lose, so I'm not too worried about that. I just need to get out of this area so I can go back to normal areas that I think I'm the correct level for. Oh, I missed it. I'm screwed. Oh, I almost opened it. I think I did open it. Nope, I didn't count it. Where am I getting shot at? Oh, those things can shoot me all the way over here? Are you kidding me? There's hell. That's a dead end. Screw that. Okay, that's save point? Hell yeah! Okay, we got another checkpoint. Okay, now maybe I, I can go back and get that chest. You know, the save points in this game are usually really far away from each other. I feel like I got lucky there. <laughs> I think that's my best bet is to run past these suckers. Oh! One of these is a fake. I think two of these are a fake. Oh, here we go. Oh no. I had a hard time with one of these guys. Screw two of them. Andos? Are you kidding me? Oh, they can kill each other. Alright, that's cool, actually. Just really focus on these guys. But he has a t second phase, of course. I wish they would hit each other. Oh no, he got me. Do you know what some of them do, Sashima? I think I'm correct in that one does healing. I just didn't get a heal off in time. Thank goodness they have a save point right there. Oh, why can't I use my healing? They're like blue, and it's not working. Oh, is that what that inverted ash does? Okay, I'm just going to let myself die then. <laughs> I see what I chose. It actually switches healing for mana potions. Okay. Derp de derp derp. Don't want that. I don't know what this does. Let's try it. <laughs> see if I can even see what it does. Ah, 
Ow. Ow. Oh my lord, they do damage. Alright guys, I need you to kill this thing again. Ow, 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 ow. I've almost got that one. You know what? I should probably be freezing these guys, actually. I kind of use all my mana doing the other thing. Oh, his reach. Holy cow, his reach. Okay, let's swap to the freeze ability and try that out. Although it'd be tough to freeze them both at once. I have a feeling the time wouldn't really help me. Try to grab this each time. That helped pretty well, actually. That uses a lot of mana, though. Oh my lord. Oh, get out of there. Get the heals off. Okay. If you were really fast, you could actually switch to the inverted ash and start to use some of those for that, huh? I should actually be using this. Oh, it's not working. Oh, because I'm out of mana. That makes sense. Leave me alone. Oh, that was close. That's one down. Oh, ow! I gotta be more defensive than I usually am. I gonna got some healing for some mana. Oh my lord, what was that? I feel like I can only ever get like maybe two hits off safely. Oh god. Oh. Keeps using the same thing. Oh, I have a hard time timing that for some reason. I'm out of healing. Okay, that's phase one. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Oh man, his reach through the thing and everything. Alright, well we took out one. We're getting there. Oh, I appreciate that other guy. Yeah, I, I definitely don't want things just outright spoiled to me. The only time I usually ask for hints is usually like where to go if um, I've wasted a lot of time looking for something and I'm not making any progress. Just like a vague hint like, oh, you should be in this zone or something like that. Of course, now it's really just down to my skills and trying to finish this guy off. I wonder what else might be really good. Maybe I should just bomb the hell out of these guys. At least that won't use mana. Let's try that out. It's tough to switch items very quickly. I wish I could maybe use like the D-pad for shortcuts, but I don't think you can. Oh no, we got those guys again. Oh, you jerk. That's one of them dead. Right now I'm just trying to survive until they kill those spiders. Ow! Not cool. Oh, I see a heal item over here. Let's grab that. Okay. 
You son of a... Oh, no! <laughs> See, now that also makes me not want to use all my dynamite because it'll be gone. It's not replenishing between rounds. Hmm. I also have these, like, fiery peppers. I think it makes me do more damage, but I'm not sure. I'll stick with what I got. Oh, ouch. Already got through one phase, though. Now, come on, robots. Kill the spiders. Oh, no. The spiders got me and brought down my health. Not cool. I wish the robots could hurt each other. <laughs> So I can only get two hits off before I take damage. Oh, yes, got him. Okay. Ow, 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 run. Pretty dang quickly, don't they? Which, I mean, these kind of games, you're mostly supposed to be defensive and then just time your attacks correctly. Alright, next phase. Start off with some dynamite. Oh, wow. At that point, I was just happy blowing them up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, that was tricky. No healing potions left. That was too close for comfort. Whew. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Jada, how's it going, Jada? What did that take me, like 10 tries? That was tough. Okay. Kind of want to go back and save it. Because those guys aren't going to come back. That was a one-time big boss thing. Now it's... They're back? But the paths are there. I could just skip them, right? Bye-bye. I'm going this way. Hopefully you don't follow me. I see... Oh, Alex, thank you so much for the lurk, dude. Five to seven, it's still quite a few. Could, could have been worse. I, I feel like I came here a little bit early in my playthrough. Uh, I can't squeeze five through him. Oh, there we go. Run, Fox, run. Oh, and those guys too. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. Leave me alone. Oh, I think I ditched him. I think I ditched him. It looks like I could have gone the other way, too. What was that about? This is a really cool place. Like, with them sealing up all those guys and those stones, there's some weird storytelling going on here. Look at all of them! Oh my gosh, it's like a factory. This reminds me of the Matrix. The Hidden Vault. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm at the end game? Is that a save point? I think it's broken. Dead. Can we pray it back to life? I don't think that's how it works. We need to, like, charge it. Oh, maybe with this. I 
I will take all the save points I can. Nice. Oh, I should switch away from my bombs. I don't waste them all. Green. Is this one of the three colors we have to do to get that big seal from the, the fox broken? Oh, we haven't teleported down here yet. I feel like <laughs> there's nothing to do here? Are you stuck? Yeah, there's like nowhere to go from here. I can't grapple onto anything, so it's not really a shortcut. Hmm, I guess we just activated it. Yeah, because if I go back to our instructions and look at that area... I think it's that one in between the Eastern Vault and the Quarry. Is what we just unlocked. Oh, there is a path? I just went right by it. Let me try it again. This game always blows me away with its secrets. Like, oftentimes, I am... You know, you're, you're going through the game, but then you take some weird path, and it takes you behind a bunch of areas that it didn't look like you could walk, and you appear back where you've been before. And I'm like, oh, that shortcut... Was... Oh, yeah, you can just walk right by there. Never mind. Okay, so this is a, a shortcut to kind of go back. So... We could now backtrack and check out other places, which I think this is the one I was doing. Maybe I should go back here right now and try to get that gun. I think this will take me back to this place. Yeah. So if I look at the map here, is this it? No. It's this one. Okay. So I am here, and it looks like there is a gun right there. So I just need to get back there and then walk down there. I don't know how I missed it, but yeah, I want to get that gun. I don't know if this is quicker to go this way or to... Oh, crap! I did it again. Okay. <laughs> go back up! Go back up! Just leaving me with one hit point. I forgot to switch to this. I do that every time. Luckily, this is here. It's so funny, other guy. When I started the stream, I was kind of wishing this game had some kind of fast travel system. I had no idea I was about to unlock it. It's like until you learn that prey command, you have no idea what those big orange blocks actually are. So I think it was this way. To tell where I can walk and where. That's actually mostly blocked off. Two hits to take out those guys is so nice. Oh, I forgot about the snipers. I do have to watch out for that. Oh, so it does actually have a translation. That's really cool. I wasn't sure if it was just gibberish and you unlock it, but they actually made a real language to it. That's really awesome. Are you expected to learn the language to kind of complete the game? was this one. Okay. Unfortunately, it does not show you where you are. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> that would be really tricky, I'm sure. Unless there was like a page we unlocked that has direct translations. I think I'm pretty close to it. I love that you can shoot through floors and stuff. It's so handy. Oh, I bet. Is it down there? 
It looks like the gun is really close. Oh, I can't reach those. One other thing that's kind of driving me crazy is I feel like I should have a jump ability. But I don't. Where are we? I think I'm like right here. Maybe I need to go back down. That's still really cool that they even have the ability to uh, find that stuff. I love that attention to detail. Is there like a secret path around here I missed? Can't go down that way. Let's get to another marker so I can easily tell. Oh, well, that's right. That was a point of no return. When you drop down that ladder, you can't go any further. But I think that ladder was like right there, maybe? No, because here's the bridges and we're seeing the bridge right there. That actually makes me think I'm more here. Still. So hard to tell. It is one of the final. Like in the last area of the game, I guess. There, at least I don't have to worry about you anymore. Yeah, maybe I picked the wrong way. Maybe I needed to go around the other side. I don't already have the gun, right? No, okay. <laughs> I don't see it in my inventory. So to get back there. There we go. I really dig the soundtrack in this area. Or is it this way? Nope, that's a dead end, okay. Yeah, let's... Let's go the, uh, the long way and kind of go down that side. I think we'll have an easier time finding the gun. Since I'm back up here, might as well do that. Does this game keep track of how many times you died? I meant to have a death counter at the beginning of the stream, but I totally forgot. Oops. I didn't get my last shot off. No, you don't. Yeah, where are you going to run now? So I'm guessing my brain cannot help these because they're broken. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't imagine, so it would have been nice. I love it when games keep track of all those kind of stats. <laughs> he killed himself with his own grenade. Okay, so don't break those, because those are really dangerous. Let's see. There's no way down from there. Didn't we drop like a rope or something? I think I dropped a rope around here somewhere.
Okay, so there's a landmark. Right over here, I can see this. So yeah, we're trying to get right over there. Oh my gosh, five minutes? That's incredible. Although your character can move pretty fast in the game world, I actually kind of imagine the speed runs were really quick in this game. Blow that guy up. Really the best strategy for those guys is just chase them. Just run full speed. Rather than wasting a healing potion, well, we might have to fight through everything again. Let's go ahead and use healing. Almost felt like there was a secret over there. Really, other guy? Wow. It didn't seem like there was a ton of bosses in this game, but I also don't know how far I really am into it. Yeah, this game seriously has some of my favorite graphics and music of a game I've played in a while. It just looks and sounds so cool. I think you're going. There we go. I bet people have done like no hit runs in this game too. Yeah, so I think. Oh, I don't I haven't done this yet, have I? Yeah. So I I imagine I've done this before. Um, I'm missing something on these, like, please tell me there's, like, not something I can do here, other guy. So I get all the way down here, and I've seen a few of these, but I can't reach it. I think there's, like, some kind of other jump ability or something you can use to actually get these, because, uh, you know, I can't grapple onto them. I can't hop over. I can't really seem to do anything. Okay, so there is another ability later. I kind of assume so, but... You never know, sometimes you get a new instruction manual page and it tells you, oh, you should have been doing this the whole time, you dumbass. Aw, <laughs> I could have always done that. I just forgot to press Y or something. I think it was the upgrading ability at a save point as well as the, um, uh, what was it? Well, the running was one of them, too, but praying, those kind of shocked me. I was like, how have I never even tried to do that? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like if there was something I could do, I would just want a vague hint. Like, oh, actually, you can get those right now. You just have to know what you're doing. Okay, so we are... Oh, now we're on the map. I never saw myself there before. Let's see here. Oh, he just did it anyway, huh, Sashima? <laughs> but did you learn the mechanic by watching him play? True. Very true. Which is really neat. Like, I, I kind of thought that it might be kind of gimmicky unlocking instruction manual pieces, but it's a really cool way of having progression. A little bit further down the hill. He blew himself up. Good job, dude. Yeah, it's it's hard to find a game that actually has a whole new mechanic you've never seen before. It's so rare. 
Oh, it was like a combo or something, Sashima. That's a bummer. Like, like Mortal Kombat learning a fatality. It's like, you don't usually do that on accident. Okay, we're almost to where the gun is, according to this map. Can't grapple anymore. Thank goodness I killed these guys in like two hits. Okay, so it looks like it's this way and then up where those guys are. That's it right there. But how the hell do I get there? You know, I've seen that before. I distinctly remember seeing that, but I did not know how to get there. Aha! There it is. Okay. Um, how are we doing on health? I'll take a potion. Oh, it's hard to dodge those. Just gotta pin them into the wall where they can't do anything. I don't think the game puts any items in chests, at least not that I've seen. Doesn't mean there's not a secret back there, but let's get this chest first. So I think this is the gun. There it is. Okay, so what the hell is this? It's another one of these. So it, it does use mana. Okay, so I can't even try it out right now. Unless I eat a fruit or something, but we'll get to a save point. And another chest. I think that's my first one. Yeah, we don't have three. Okay, two more. True. Yeah, I could either do inverted ash or um, what should I call it? Eat those blue fruits. I think also replenishes that. Maybe. Luckily, pretty much everything the way we came is dead. What was this way? Oh, that was a shortcut. Okay. Yeah, we already cleared all this out. Was there any other of those blocks to move? Hmm. There might have been more in the monastery that I couldn't do. I don't remember. I should probably check it out while we're here. As you get new abilities, you kind of forget like, oh wait, where did I see that? Another place to pray. Where was that secret right here? There we go. It's probably quicker to get up there. Did you play with a controller, other guy, or keyboard and mouse? I imagine controller probably feels a lot better in this game, but you never know. Okay, yeah, same. I haven't even tried it with a keyboard and mouse. That takes me to the top. I kind of want to go back inside there, though. I go this way? Where the heck am I? <laughs> I can't see. It's. Oh, there's something here. Oh, I put one of those down. Okay. I also notice this. Every time I go in the monastery right there, it does like an extreme close up. Of that texture, it's so bizarre. Wasn't there a save point like right back here? Oh, maybe it's a little bit further back. Can't fix that one. Well, you know what? 
let's just keep on moving. I'd rather go all the way back and fight through stuff. He has zero bugs! <laughs> I mean, honestly, the amount of bugs I found in this game, that's pretty much it, I believe. It was kind of scary not being able to backtrack when I got stuck on that, that spider area, but we fought our way through. I wouldn't say that's a bug. It's more of just like, oh crap, moment. I guess I could um, teleport here. Oh no, that takes me to the place I can't access those items yet. Never mind. Wait, that's not where I wanted to go at all then. Never mind. Maybe that was it. I thought there was more to it. Let me get up to that top area. My internal GPS in video games is terrible. Worse than MapQuest. So, <laughs> I definitely spend a little bit extra time finding my way around and trying to remember where everything is. What was up this way? Oh, this is a shortcut to that other door. That's right. Um... Can I open this up with prayer? No. I think that's opened up by a charge, isn't it? Like you, you charge those things up and they're connected to it. And those open up the doors, I believe. Was there any on this path? I've run through this path so many times I wasn't really paying attention. No, I don't see any big obelisks. Maybe not. Ah, nice chill music again. <laughs> oh, mine are terrible, Artemis. <laughs> it's painful. Okay, so where we are right now, we're on this side. I wonder if I can get to that skull. I'm not sure if you just needed the grapple hook for that and I've never done it before. We should go take a look. I know there's a save point not far down there either. Actually, this might be the quickest way. It's dangerous, though, because they will attack you before you're even off the ladder. Which is a cheap shot. Oh, I never pushed that down. Dang it. Oh, is that right, other guy? I love little details like that. That's so cool. Sound design is amazing. Complicated, but amazing. And I think it's always very underrated. Like, people don't really think about how much goes into the sound of a game and how much it adds to the game. Because it's in the background for the most part, you know? Most people think of the graphics first, but sound is at least as important. You just can't get a sense of that in trailers and advertising and stuff. So I want to go this way? I think. And I think this takes me to the skull. Nope. It's one of those things we need to learn how to jump. Okay, had to check it out. I wasn't sure. Who's this way? Okay, we just did that bell tower area. I know there's more of those big obelisks I want to push down. I tried this one and I couldn't reach it because it's blocked off by the broken bridge. Um, that one I couldn't reach because it's like on a raised platform and I couldn't quite climb up there. 
Apparently there's a magic dagger there. We haven't gotten over there either. But there's no other obelisks. I don't remember what the candle is. I feel like we need to check out the candle. It's like now that we have the ability to pray, there's so many different things we have to interact with. I also never got down there. I'm not sure where that entrance is. Oh, that was the ice knife? So is that where I get it? There's nothing I have to do to the, uh, the candle? I just see something unique on the map and it's like, I know I've been there, but I didn't have the ability to pray when I was there. So I kind of wonder, hmm, is there something I can do with that that I couldn't before? I think this is a dead end. Oh, and I guess anytime you see those purple kind of power lines, you might want to follow it because it kind of leads you to an obelisk, right? That's how you get there. Okay, I need to go down on that side. Oh my goodness! <laughs> too little, too Nate. Welcome, Raiders, to John Cadia. How are you guys doing? We got some guy with glasses, Veronique Talzeri, and of course, Nate dropping the sub to. Oh my gosh. And the sub anniversary, 38 months. Let me drop some tokens for you guys. Bam, bam, and bam. And of course, anybody that follows the channel, you can jump up with your little avatar guy right there and uh, grab those tokens. How are you doing, Nate? Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream, dude? What were you playing? Let me give you a shout out there. And stole, I'm gonna destroy this. Retiller? Retiller? Let me know. How's it going? Welcome. All right, let's see. You. There we go. Sometimes people's names are too close to an emote. If I try to do shout out to and hit tab, I get that. Oh, they're playing special events. No, you were doing some Donut County. Oh, that was such a cool game. I really enjoyed that one, Nate. How are you liking it so far? It's just cute. It's cute and random, but I really liked it. And it was fun streaming it with all you guys. Yeah, yeah, we played that. Last year, I think it was late last year. I forget when we did it, but it was a really neat game and it's so short. Like, I think we finished it in one stream pretty much. Still Rhett, Ray Tiller, but oh, just Ray works. Is it Ray? Is that how I pronounce that? Just to play on words. Oh, you guys and your clever names. <laughs> I love it. And you did finish it in one stream. Good. Nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a cute game. Is that the same people that made, um, uh, what was it? A goose game? I forget what that's called. But I, I feel like I've seen their games before. It has like a very similar style. It's awesome. And Talzeri, thank you for the follow. Welcome. All right. Well, we are playing Tunic right now, which is just a gorgeous untitled goose game. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. It might be the same developers. I'm not sure. But yeah, we are currently playing um, here. Where is it? There it is, Tunic, which is kind of like a Legend of Zelda style game, but it's got a really cool art style. I'm still wearing my gas mask. Let me change that. And uh, it's very cryptic, very mysterious. You kind of learn how to play the game as you go because it doesn't give you any hints. And um, let's put, which one do I want to use? Let's try that one. Maybe that gives me better defense. But as you're playing, you unlock this instruction manual which essentially gives you tips and hints on how to play the game. And sometimes there's basic knowledge that's kind of kept from you until you find the right page. And then it teaches you how to do something that you've needed to know the entire game, you just didn't. It's awesome. And Therapy Android, how are you doing? You made it, <laughs> welcome. I recommend it, Nate. It's really cool and it's just, the graphics are charming, the music is great. It's a fun one. Okay, so I'm trying to get back down to where that purple power line thing is and cross over, because there's something I need to turn on. How do I get down there again? I think I need to go on this side. Yes, it's like part Zelda, part Souls-like for sure. Okay, I think I go into this building right here. Oops, 
There we go. But yeah, this game just has really cool, cozy vibes. Oh no, that side's blocked. I think I tried using dynamite on this before, but it didn't work. Oh, get some great sleep, Talzri. I hope I don't see you again, but not for the reason that might sound like. I hope you get sleep. That's what I mean. But if you can't, of course, you are more than welcome back here, but hope you get some good rest. Sleep is important. I fall asleep like a baby almost immediately every time. It's ridiculous. Andy hates it. My wife, she struggles to go to bed, to say the least. She'll crawl in bed and she'll be there for an hour, two hours, just trying to get to sleep. And I put my head down. I'm asleep in five seconds. She's like, how dare you? She's like, stop talking shit. Are you really? Okay. I'll be there in a little bit. Speaking of which, Andy just said she's going to bed, which means she'll be asleep in two hours. And uh, therapy, progress is going slowly but surely. Although I did tackle some really tough areas today and I thought I made some good progress. Am I in the right area? I'm not sure where that thing spat me out. No, I'm not. We are not in the right area. Let me go back. It looked like I needed to cross through where that brick, those rocks were, other guy, but there must be another way. Let's see here. Oh, they are different people. Thanks for checking some guy with glasses. Yeah, I just looked at the graphics and I'm like, oh, that could be the same engine. I'm not sure. It is a long stream, which means I will be taking a coffee break shortly, but you guys can play some mini games and murder each other for tokens while I'm gone. And, uh, then we'll get back to this. Yeah, so it's right in there that I have to get to. Wait a second. Can I, like, grapple in there? I have a feeling I can, like, grapple to connect to something. Kind of cheese my way in there. Let's see. Yeah, like, right here? Will this get me to that side? I'm scared if I do that, I won't be able to get over there, though. Let me double check. No, everything else is blocked off. I think that might be it. Let's try it. So I can use my grapple. I just walk over here. Oh, no! It doesn't go up there. Dang it. Okay. That is not it. We're close. I might not be able to get there from this side at all. Actually. All these little critters just coming to their death. <laughs> I vaguely remember there being something to grapple onto, but not in that spot. And it's not in there. There's probably some weird little path that's really hidden. Maybe through this way? Maybe you can go somewhere back here? Oh, this is a dead end. Never mind. Nope, that's definitely not it. About this way and then there's that card there I can't quite reach it's so hard when things are so close oh sure other guy yeah that'd be cool <laughs> fashion at least it's not like you know gonna make me too powerful or anything yeah I might need a clue on how to get in there you know what I bet you got to go from the other side I'm trying to go on that side. Maybe there's a secret kind of more on that side. So northeast section of this fountain plaza behind the trees. So this fountain right here. Northeast would be kind of here. Aha! That is a good little hiding spot. Yeah, I never would have found that. And another coin! Excellent. Now we can get another... Um, 
ability to have equipped all the time. What do these do? Oh, you know what? I bet you're supposed to pray on this spot. No? Do I have to walk behind these changing areas? Making a noise. Oh, it totally changes your outfit. Okay, do I have to pray in there to change my outfit? No, now it's back to normal. Okay, so that's like green and white. Oh, it's like random every time. Is it random? Got black. I think we're back to normal. That's so cute. I like that. That's a fun little hiding spot. Thank you for showing me that. I don't remember. They're like, not curtains, but there's like a proper name for them, isn't there? All right, so the area I'm trying to reach is right behind that. I'm gonna try. There's a secret here. Oh, see, that would be a good secret to get in there right there. Nope. Dang, no way that way. I really have no idea how to get in there. Oh, and if you ring the bell, it goes back to default? Okay. Wow, there's a lot of options. That's actually really neat. I like that. So how do I get in that area, other guy? I feel like I'm missing something basic. Unless it's a ability to break the bricks. In which case, I don't have that right now. Wait, am I supposed to go that way? Maybe that was it, actually. Let's follow this power line to try to reach it. Okay, we're on the bottom of it. I need to get to the top. Climb over and reach it. Okay, yeah, so I did this once before. I just want to get to the other side. And I'm not entirely sure I can. That's blocked off now. I want to get up there and, like, pray. See, I've been to that side before. I just don't know if I've ever gotten to the top yet. <laughs> we need... What would, what would you guys call the band? Yeah, so this is the right hallway. Oh, there should be a secret in that waterfall. That doesn't help me much. I feel like I'm so close. So... It looks like I might have to come from further that way. Let's kind of try to go down and around. Okay, well, right before we do that, it's probably a good time to take a short little coffee break, get some caffeine for me, and uh, give you guys a chance to murder each other and earn some tokens to the channel, which you can use the tokens for all kinds of stuff. You can... Uh, Use it to request sound effects. You can request a game to stream. We use them for giveaways, all kinds of stuff. Hey, there you go. As long as you get guys in there somewhere. Um, is that? Here it is. Oh, other guy, you have a great night. Thank you so much for the help. I really appreciate that. Are you making coffee too? Perfect timing, therapy. Perfect timing. Swap that. 
Oh, I gotta log in. I guess it's been a while. After I think usually like 30 or 60 days, all these apps log you out of Twitch. It's a security thing, I get it, but. All right, it says connecting, come on. You can do it, stream animals, I believe in you. Doesn't usually take this long, usually it's like instantaneous. Let me try it again. There we go. Okay, that was much quicker. Let's do the classic mode. So in this mode, all that you want to do is survive. You get to tell which direction you want to move to, try to get out of harm's way. And uh, you can also vote on different disasters that can happen. So to join in the game, all that you have to do is type exclamation point join or the name of one of these animals right above my head. I'm just going to be a random one. Actually, no, I want to change it. Let's go with hippo. I like how the hippo looks. And then uh, if you're going to be like me and doing other stuff in the background, you can also type exclamation point auto and the game will actually play itself. So you can actually just let it do its thing and uh, you might still win tokens to the channel. So guys, good luck. And you got to go guy with glasses. Thank you for joining. You have a great night. I'm going to go get some coffee so I can stay up. You guys in just a little bit. All right. Be right back.
Ha, and then there were two. You and me, Artemis. Let's do this. Hold on, I gotta get my voting on. Oh, it's happening right now. Whenever there's a duel, somebody's gonna get knocked out. Yeah! <laughs> it's 50-50, it's like a coin toss. Okay, so with that, let me see. I wanted to see um, where we all are on the leaderboards before we go. So of all time for this particular mode, I am in first place with 20 wins. Relentless is in second with 10, and you just got a couple, right? Oh, no, you got your first one, Artemis. Nice, so that puts you on the board. Very cool. All right, let's get back to the main game. Let me exit this. This back should pop right up, I think. There we go. Same. Perfect timing therapy. <laughs> I'm loving this mug, by the way. If you guys are interested, I recommend you check this out. It's a ember is what it's called. And you can see it has like a little light on there. It essentially charges, like it heats up your coffee without being on the heating plate. So you can kind of take it anywhere in the house. And it does a really good job. I always keep mine at like the maximum temperature because I like my coffee pretty hot. And it usually lasts for a couple hours. So like for the rest of the stream, I'll be good for hot coffee. I like it. One of my biggest pet peeves is how quickly coffee usually goes cold. Now you can always put one of those like um, travel mugs with the top on it and then I'll keep it warm for a long time as well but then you're always having to mess with the top drink and close it back up to keep it hot and that's kind of annoying but that you don't have to do anything it's just like a normal mug I've heard they're kind of fragile when cleaning I always hand clean it just in case but I haven't had any scratches yet and I've had it since Christmas yeah I think I got it for Christmas So much am I liking it that uh, I think Andy is going to want one as well. Hold on, did I just go down a dead end? Same. Yeah, I, I drink it so quickly because I don't like it to get cold, and now I can actually take my time and enjoy it. It's actually really nice. All right, so let me double check the map. I am... Tell like right down there. Here I am. I think I need to get up there somehow. Yeah. Let's climb back up this way. Not sure if this is going to be what I need to do, but it's the only idea I have. <laughs> something to hook onto up there? No, but I know I can climb up and over. It seemed like there was a path right behind the ladder, maybe? We'll see. And Artemis, being a MMO fan when I play Dark Age, what's your favorite MMO of all time? Like, usually people's first game is their favorite. And it's it's harder to go back to now, but I did really enjoy Ultima Online. That game was just the Wild West of MMOs. It was ridiculous. Okay, so I need to get down to that path. Hey, welcome back, Alex. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm almost following that pink line. Try to get down there somehow. <laughs> Actually, I'd be following it this side. I wonder where that one goes. Ah, uh, old school. Wow, that was so good as well. I definitely spent a lot of time in that game. I even played uh, the beta before it came out. I think I still have the disc. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm trying to get on this side. Oh, I never did play Star Wars Galaxies. I had a lot of friends that were into it, but I never tried it myself. Okay, now we're on this side. I'm trying to get up there. I, I've done it before. I just don't remember the path that I took. Oh no, and your stomach is bugging you too, Alex. I'm so sorry to hear that, dude. Let's see, I can't cross there. You know, this is actually a different way than I used to come. I didn't go this way at all. How did I used to get here? So right now I'm on this bridge. You know, I think I popped out of that little uh, tunnel right there, but I don't remember how to get there. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's actually a good idea, therapy. Sometimes if you got aches and pains like that, it could be, yeah, like a flu or something. Okay, let's try to go the long way. <laughs> sure. Luckily, we're pretty powerful for all these guys, so they go down pretty dang quick. And we're making money. How do I get down this side? Hey, monkey! How you doing, dude? Welcome. Nothing to latch on to. What you been up to, dude? You kicking more butt in Tetris? These alligators sound so goofy. I love it. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, Alex. That's a good idea. Get it checked out. You never know. I do not want to fight you in Tetris. <laughs> That's why I was asking if you've beaten other people up. Whoa! Oh, that's my gun! That thing's awesome! It's a little too powerful for what I need. I'm gonna switch back to this for right now. But now I know that thing is badass. Every one of those shots is like six shots of this other thing, so... Only use it when you really need it. Oh, come on. He froze me. Actually, I don't think he could do damage on his own. I think he can only freeze me. Okay, now we're making progress. I think I'm going kind of the direction I wanted to. Still can't open that door, but... We're over here now. So I'm hoping I can go into this. There's a path. Oh, do I need to cross right here? Here we go. I get up there. I'm trying to go in that area, but it doesn't seem to let me. Have I done this one yet? I don't think so. This might be new for me. Although, to be honest, most of these heroes' grave areas, I can't do anything because I don't have a 
ability to get over there. That's still nothing. Can't reach anything. I can't pray for the item to come to me. <laughs> so we'll have to come back here. I notice when I come to this hero's grave area, all of my stats are dropped down. Like my upgrades don't count there or something. Oh, wait, is this it? This might be it. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Okay. So now I, I still need to get up to the top floor. Um, I think I did this before. Does this get me to the top area? Didn't even see that guy. There we go. Dang, that skeleton took a lot of hits. Now, I've been here, but it's been so long. just hoping to find a way up to uh, the top floor where I can activate that big beacon. Is it this way? <clears throat> I feel like this is going the wrong way. So dark. So many guys. There we go. Oh yeah, I was supposed to do something with these, right? I think I already turned them on, actually. Can't get up there. That's where I came from. What was up on this side? Can I go up the stairs? There we go. Okay. What does that get me? Oh, the, I think I went down that way, if I remember correctly. That's where I'm supposed to go, actually. Yeah, because I came from that other direction. No, I'm getting turned around. Is this where I came from? I never got this before. Sweet. I need a map of this place. We might actually have a map of this place. Let me double check. Yeah, that's where we are. Okay. So this is the dark tomb. It doesn't really give me a good idea of how to get to... Um... Oh, the beacon up there at the top right. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's in the place of all those creepy crawly things, though. Man, do I have to go there? <laughs> Probably. Alright, let me try to find my way back there. What was this way? 
dead end. So I'm going to take that monkey as a yes. You are still playing lots of Tetris. I do want to get back into um, Tetris Effect just to experience like the main campaign. I haven't actually completed it yet, but I just love all the different uh, music and like visuals they have for each section. Oh, you actually haven't been right now. Let me guess then. Risk of Rain 2? Have you been working on that? Oh yeah, because you can do like a co-op battle versus the boss, right? I've done that a couple times. I think it's only three players. Oh, Monster Hunter Rise. Did you say that? I think I missed that. It seems like a lot of people actually prefer Rise to Monster Hunter World. Oh, does this take me there? No, but I might be able to do something with this. I forgot all about this one. No? Oh, I was hoping that would work. Guess we don't have the items we need for that yet. Where am I on the big map? Yeah, we're not exactly near the place I want to be right now. Kind of going backwards. And honestly, the thing I'm going for, it might be optional. I'm not entirely sure. I kind of feel like I might need to look up a walkthrough on this one. There's another one of those instruction manuals just out of reach. Oh my gosh, the range on that guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to make my way. I think there was like a secret back here, wasn't there? I'm going to try to make my way back to that charger. Yeah, might as well save it. I don't think I'm going to die here, but better safe than sorry. Ah, I remember when this guy was so hard. Now he's kind of trivial. How are we doing on money? Oh, 850. Pretty soon we'll have a, a thousand to get one of those nice upgrades. Ooh, ooh, this might be it, actually. I think I might have found it. I'm just trying to find a way into this room on the top level. I thought we finally found it. Okay, good. This is what I'm trying to do. So I can go here and pray, and this will actually charge it up and make it shrink down, which is typically unlock Snoot's stuff. So see, that just took the charge and pushed it this way. You can see how it lit up the floor right here. So now we want to go this way and see what we actually did. Hopefully we can just keep following that path. Uh-oh. 
Oh, this was closed earlier, wasn't it? My goodness, I pissed off a lot of creatures. Nice, those are good. Um, was that it though? There's something else back here? It looks like it just dead ends at the wall. It might actually go up and out of this place. Let's see if we can't keep following that path and see what else might have changed. Oh, wait a second. We were looking at this map earlier. Here it is. Is there supposed to be another one of those things here? There might be. It says under the well and beneath the earth. If these are connected, then we might be able to find another one. I'm not sure if they are. It's been a while though, we can explore. I love it when a game has a good feeling of progression. As you get more powerful, you actually feel more powerful. Because you're going back to places you've been before and you're just wrecking everything. Some games, when you level up, you can't even tell anything's changed. Oh yeah, see, here's more of this. Oh gosh. Those things are super dangerous, okay. Oh, that one's a dead end. Maybe we can go around. And find another way there. Mm, that looks like a dead end too. I was going to see if there's another path in the water, but it doesn't look like it. So let's go back and follow this power path this way and see what we find. Another dead end. Well, that wasn't super useful. Whoa, I missed this earlier. Oh, nice. I don't know what that is. Something. <laughs> Better to have it than not to have it, that's for sure. How about you, Therapy? If you're still there, what have you been playing lately? Anything new? Oh, is that a path? Oh, secret, but we already found it. Okay. Where are we on the map? We're at the very top of that area. Shows like a question mark on the left hand side. What is that all about? I wish I could figure out how to get to the beneath the earth section. Oh, you've been really busy lately? That's good though. It's good to stay busy. Yeah, I mean on stream obviously I've been mostly playing this, but off stream I've been working on uh, Hollow Knight on the Steam Deck. And that game's really good too. I mean it kind of reminds me of this a little bit, but it's... Uh, not really 3D like this one is. It's more 2D. Can't reach. Not quite as good as um, Until Dawn, was it? I enjoyed it, but not Until Dawn quality yet. Okay, so if I come here... Okay, we're getting close to that question mark. It was right over here. Am I supposed to fall off? Um, the game actually won't let me fall off the cliff. 
I wonder why there's a question mark there. So how did you play the quarry? Did you uh, to take turns and let uh, like each controlled certain characters or did you kind of play the whole thing and she kind of um, spectated? I don't think there's fishing in this game, Monkey. At least I have not found a fishing rod. Still nothing there. Yeah, I don't know what that question mark means. Okay, but if we go down this way, there was like a boss icon on the map. It was kind of down this way. Well, this is where we came in here, wasn't it? Yeah, that's where we came in. Okay. Oh, she played the whole thing and you watched. And then after that, you're going to replay until dawn. That's such a good one. I mean, that's definitely their best work so far. Which is a bummer. Like... You'd think with experience they'd get better and better, but maybe it's just a storytelling thing. They haven't quite had as good of a story as Until Dawn. Okay, so yeah, I'm not too sure what I need to do next here, guys. I think I might have done everything after that. I kind of thought that would unlock something big, but... Didn't seem like it did. Follow this path all the way to the end. There's like a different area I need to go underground. Because I'm in under the well right now. Which is where I show up on the map. I need to get here to beneath the earth. Because there's another one of those things I need to charge up it looks like. I'm not sure if I've even found that area, to be honest. Oh, that's good. You're able to play that game more now. I know how much you loved it. Glad to hear your PC's working again as well. See, I don't show up on any map. Let's go back up this way. I would love to replay that game. I might pick it up on Steam because I'd prefer to do that than play on uh, the PS4. I guess PS5, but there's not, no real proper PS5 version of the game, I don't think. Yeah, so we explored all of that. Yeah, I think I've been everywhere there. Oh, so your computer was actually overheating, wasn't it, Therapy? Yeah, I haven't had to reseat a cooler in a long time, but that's a hassle. Okay, so we are here now. Where's our little fox head? Oh, there I am at the top. Okay, so there's the well. I don't know how to get to that other place. Hmm. <laughs> now, luckily on my PC, it has all kinds of, uh, what do you call them? Like dust filters, which really helps keep the dirt out, but it still gets clogged up. You got to clean them out once in a while. Am I missing any other major clues on these pages? I'm not sure what to do next. Hmm. We can go back to that evil place. That's right. I forgot that I, I left there to kind of finish up the, uh, to get the gun. But we should go back to that evil place. 
I think it's just over this way. I love the music outside there. Oh, I need to figure out how to do these too. Oh no, you had to take down one of your streams, Alex? <laughs> True, yeah, if you go 10 years without cleaning them, that's gonna be a problem. I probably clean mine every year or two. Oh, that's right, we got more, um, what do you call them? Coins to put in here. I love the graphics in this game, Monkey. It's beautiful. I think we have enough to get a, a bonus, too. There we go. So now we can have three different abilities equipped at once. However, I have no idea what many of these abilities do. So let's go here. Let's add that one. See, we can look at the instruction manual to try to get an idea, but it doesn't tell us directly what those are. See, here's a few of them. There's Lucky Cup, which shows 15% heart. I think that gives you more health. Inverted Ash switches magic and health potions. Um, Cyan Peril Ring. I think that gives you more defense when you're in danger. Muffling Bell, I don't know what that does. And unfortunately, I, I think we had one more at the end. Here we go. So this gives us all the names. What does that Bracer do? I think Bracer maybe makes it so your defense takes less stamina. Um, Augur's Gem. What in the hell is this chicken scratch? What does that mean? <laughs> they wrote something there. I can't quite tell. Oh, bummer, Alex. But I understand, yeah. Be being recorded and online is definitely not for everybody. A lot of these I have no idea. Cyan Pearl Ring, that's the one that helps you when you're in danger. I bet Orange Pearl Ring is the same. When you're in danger, you can um, do more damage. Tincture, I think you can do more damage, but your defense is lower. Louder Echo. Not sure what that means. And Muffling Bell. It has like an enemy and it's pointing towards a fox, us, and there's like a distance measurement. I wonder if that means that we're more stealthy. I bet that's what that is. But this Augur's Gem? Yeah, we gotta translate that, monkey. Good luck. I might do magic echo. I'm not too sure. So I have the health one equipped, the bracer equipped. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah, I think this makes it so it'll do less stamina when we block. Wait, no, that's what the other one did, wasn't it? I don't know what that's gonna do. It looks like the same thing. That is the Augur's Gem. Uh, we'll just try it out. Maybe I'll see something. <laughs> do it, therapy. Do it. <laughs> Let's check the map again. So I'm just trying to get back to that main area so I can save it and teleport. Luckily, this area is a little bit easier to uh, explore. Wait, I might have enough money for an upgrade. How are we doing? 952. We're so close. Maybe I should just grind out some money so we get a thousand and then go buy that item I've been looking for. So 
a lot of enemies this way. What game do you think you would uh, stream, Therapy? And speaking of this game's soundtrack, I listened to it at work today. I can confirm this soundtrack is very nice to listen to while you do something else, like just very relaxing. Helps you focus. There's a few songs that get kind of intense, but overall I'd say it's very chill. How are we doing? Oh, we're almost there. Only need 18 more. You should try to find a uh, two-player horror game therapy so you can both play simultaneously. It's kind of rare, but they do exist. Oh, hopefully this is enough. Ooh, six more. Oh, here's that bridge I've never pushed down. Now we have a shortcut. I'm trying to think of a, a two-player game you guys can play on one computer or console. I could think of like a really old-school horror game. I don't know how good it is. I never actually played it. It's called... Um, I think of the name. I was going to say Obscure? I think it might be called Obscure, and it's kind of like a classic Resident Evil style of horror game, but you can play it two players at once. Which is rare for that kind of game, like you don't see a lot of two-player Resident Evil games. Okay, we can go to the house. Yeah, I think that's it. I think there was more than one, but uh, my guess is that they're probably both multiplayer. Oh, no, no, it's not here. The lighthouse, that's where I can buy it. Here's the shopkeeper. So what we did is you keep played and you commented and sometimes helped. That's the way to do it, Alex. Although I remember I tried having Andy play Outlast that one time. Outlast 2, I think it was. That didn't work out. She didn't get too far. She just got too terrified. It was intense. So the only... The other major useful thing to buy here is this coin. I don't know if I put enough coins in there, but if I did in a well... I could actually just get another equipable ability right now. I'll become unstoppable. I need all the help I can get. Oh good, you played uh, familiar games. It looks like a boss, doesn't it, Monkey? When I first ran into that guy, I thought I was about to get killed. But it's just the shopkeeper. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's cool. Why not have a terrifying shopkeeper? Where's the well? Don't think this game marks off wells for you, unfortunately. I always stumble upon them at random. Oh, it's on that side. There it is. Okay, I just missed it. I need a bridge. Here we go. And let's go down to that well. What game was it, Alex? I don't remember. Oh, we need one more coin. One more coin. Okay. Okay, I think we are ready to go back to hell. <laughs> or that really tough area where I had to run past all those weird spider creatures because they were just doing way too much damage and I couldn't figure out how to really protect myself. 
It was embarrassing. I do have a gun. That gun is impressive. The Witch's House. It's similar to Mad Father. Oh, I think I saw that, actually, Alex, on uh, Steam. It, was it pretty good? Unfortunately, the gun uses so much mana, I'd be out within like two or three shots. It's difficult. Although, if I switch the mana to health, I could probably blast the spiders quite a lot. The tricky part is they don't die. They just duplicate. So when you shoot a spider, you get two smaller spiders, and then four smaller spiders, and then eight. And then they finally die. But by the time you've done that, I would have used up all my mana. So nice that I figured out how to use these waypoints. Okay, so from here... Oh no, this is the useless one. I can't get across here, I forgot. Never mind, that one's not any good. Where's the nearest closest one? Oh, I was right by it. I walked right past it. It was actually just across that bridge and down. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, right down here. Here we go. This one I'm pretty sure is connected to the rest. Yeah, therapy and coffee. Still piping hot. The little light is still on. Once that light starts to go red, I know it's going to start to cool off. And actually, it's very subtle, but as the coffee gets closer to the bottom, it actually gets a little bit hotter because it's not trying to heat up as much liquid, which makes sense. Oh no, Alex. That's cool, though. She knows the game well enough to like go and do the hardcore stuff. That's fun. Okay, this is pretty much where we left this difficult area. I don't think it is, but it feels like this is the end of the game. Like, those are those pillars we've been looking for all over the game and pushing them down, like kind of charging things up. Now there's like a ton of them. Oh, crap. Well, we just saved, right? <laughs> We're good. Wait. I don't think I used that save point here. We should do that first. Yeah, who requested Mad Father? I think that was Relentless. That was a fun game. Okay, now we definitely have a save. Oh, that's cool. It makes it even better. It's like one of her favorite games, but she's seen new content. Kind of like when I got to finally play that new version of... Um, uh, so the Stanley Parable. That was super fun. Boss Scavenger. Oh my gosh, he's aggressive. Okay. still hurts me even through that <laughs> that's dangerous oh he can hurt himself that's cool you can actually block that a little bit okay ouch Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna die. Heal. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, man. I got him not quite halfway dead. I'm going to try that shotgun, actually, just to see how it works. Let's see if we can't just blow the living crap out of that guy. Um, so let's switch to the shotgun. Put it there. And actually, if I switch this with this one. I think, no, not that one. Which one is it? This one. Here we go. Now, my health potions are actually mana potions. So I essentially have like almost infinite shots with this guy now. Oh, they got to join for that. That's awesome. I'm happy Relentless got to see that too. Oh yeah, he doesn't like that. Oh, he also shoots back. Of course. Oh, I'm out of shots. Oh. Well, the problem is I can't really heal myself at all. That's going to be tough. Let me try one more time like that. Just non-stop blast and heal. Or recharge, essentially. Luckily, I don't have any uh, experience to lose, so I'm not too worried. Unfortunately, you only get one shot per potion you drink. It's actually pretty weak for that. Oh gosh. Maybe even less than one. Oh yeah, see, I'm already out. <laughs> oh! Did a lot of damage, but that's not going to be sustainable to kill him. I tried the same thing with ice. Just see if we can't stun lock him. <laughs> the name's Bond. What's up, Christian? Are you watching the James Bond movies? And what's everybody's favorite um, uh, James Bond movie? Mine's Casino Royale. Oh, not close enough. Fortunately, I have to get really close for this. Oh, I'm out of charges. Yeah, see, these guys are pretty dang high level. Like, I hardly even touch them with my weapon. Oh, got me. Is that your favorite? Nice. It's so good. It's so good. And, I mean, Cra Daniel Craig was great in all of them, but... I still think Casino Royale was his best. It's just so gritty and realistic. Oh, I could actually upgrade that if I go get some money. I didn't realize I had picked up one of those up. GoldenEye was actually really good too. And not just because the game was so much fun on N64, but uh, I really did like that one with Pierce Brosnan. That was also my favorite with him, which is kind of ironic because it was each Bond's first movie as James Bond. Yeah, I'm going to actually kind of go back to what I was using before. What do I want with this one, though? The slowdown doesn't really help all that much because it actually slows me down as well. That's a heal. Maybe I should try that out. 
Or maybe we go to bombs. <laughs> maybe we're going to bomb them a lot. <laughs> no, Alex, it's fine. They're, if you do like action movies, though, I recommend you check out a few of them. Um, honestly, all of the new ones with Daniel Craig are entertaining. Pierce Brosnan, Goldeneye was good. They get really cheesy after that. And the classics are cool, but you got to be in the mood for that kind of movie. But I definitely recommend you watch Casino Royale. Let's see. Oh, I saw you saying that monkey. I might be able to brute force it with a gun, but uh, I can get him down to about a quarter of his health because I think I hit him with every single shotgun blast. And then I have to survive a quarter of his health with no healing at all. And I think I'd prefer not to do that. Gosh, I wish I knew what all these did. But I'm going to try some dynamite and dodging with a lot of healing and see how that works. Oh, the third one doesn't actually create a shot. Oh, that's a bummer. It doesn't quite give you enough of what you need, huh? Okay, let's try that combo. Luckily, when you grab him with that grappling hook, which doesn't take very much mana, um, it totally stuns him and you get a free, few free hits off. Yeah, check out Casino Royale. I think you'll like it. Oh, he didn't kick me that time. He's tossing the same thing as I am. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay, that didn't work. I thought that um, my grappling hook stuns him, but I, apparently not always. Depends on what he's doing. Ah. Oh gosh, what was that? He hit me with a shotgun and then a blast. Oh gosh. It's so hard to get a heal. Oh, I didn't even see that coming. I feel safer in close quarters and just dodging. Oh, except for that thing. I have a hard time dodging that one. I'm not sure why. Oh, dang it. Almost got him down to that quarter. Maybe I'll try that gun again. Let's see if I can't brute force that guy. He's a tough one. I put it here. I think these are more mana, so I should probably have those equipped as well. And then I got to change this to this. Yeah. See if we can just keep blasting him and not give him a chance to respond. Although I do need to double back just to like reload, unfortunately. Like now. Didn't stun him that time. Oh, man. That shotgun does so much damage, though. Yeah, so it's a combination of just, like, having really great luck dodging. I mean, does it really make a difference? I don't imagine it does. I'm still reloading. Oh, I didn't, shouldn't have drunk him three of those, actually. Got 
two more. Oh, that thing. Oh, I hate that thing. Usually when I see those big beams of energy, you can actually dodge through it, but that one's like so thick, it doesn't seem to let me dodge through it. We got pretty close that time. hate that thing. Oh man, that shotgun blast seems to come out of nowhere. I always, like I don't really see him bring out his gun. He must be bringing it out, but it looks like he's about to swing a sword and then boom, shotgun blast, you're dead. And I think it's his most powerful attack too. I shot him right through that wall. That was kind of cool. Okay, so that's all of that. Now I need to use some of these to replenish. Oh my gosh. So close. No, that stupid thing I can't dodge through. Yeah, it, it, trying to think of that in the heat of the moment is easier said than done for me, monkey. Relentless. Oh, you have no audio because you're at work? <laughs> well, I'm going to come here anyway, even though you can't hear me. But thank you very, very much, Relentless. I appreciate that. Let me drop some tokens for you guys. Good luck at work. I hope that your work day is going very smooth and easy. Thank you again. I appreciate that. <laughs> Although I know I've gotten three shots off, so I don't quite understand the math behind all that monkey. Let's see. Maybe I'll pay attention to it now. One. Two. Son of a bitch. Three. Now I was completely empty, right? Two, three, one, two. Okay. So if I only drank two, I would still get two shots, or would I only get one shot? One, two. Okay, now I see what you're talking about. Oh, that time I actually dodged that. <laughs> Oh, I didn't have any more mana. I thought I had another shot. Thank you, Relentless. <laughs> a good one. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, so I think two and two shots. Is, yeah, I think you're probably right, Monkey. That's going to be the easiest. And good catch, Monkey. Oh god. Ouch. Dodge too early. Ah. Uh, I don't understand that thing. Sometimes I can dodge through it, other times it seems to block me. Oh no. I'm just going to assume if he happens to do that, I'm dead. Nothing I can do about it, but we will get lucky one of these times. 
It's funny because like I, I shouldn't be here yet, I don't think. I think there's still a lot more upgrading I can do. I just I don't know where else to go in the game. Yeah, does it still do full damage? I haven't really been paying attention to its life bar. Oh. Accidentally used an item for healing. Oh my god. Seriously? Get away from me. Ow. Not a good run that time. It might be. Like, the closer you are, the more damage it does. I mean, that would make sense, but it seems like it's always doing a crap ton of damage to him. But I can try to get real close in the beginning and get some, like, close range shots off. Just to see if that does more. I don't think it does anymore, actually. Thing is annoyingly undodgeable. I feel like I can shoot him right through the barrier, too. Dang. Got real aggressive at the end there. I got close. Got him down to less than that last quarter. And honestly, there's probably a better item I should have equipped. Let's see. So I'm not even using my shield. I think that's for the shield. Let's try that. I think that's for magic. <laughs> Maybe that might make me do more damage. See, I got one of them, but the other one did not dodge at all. Quit it. And what's bummer is like, um, this guy is easier than one of the other bosses I was fighting, I think. And I just noped the hell out of that boss battle. So the one you equip just makes you gain mana from your ghost. Oh, that's actually kind of cool, though. My ghost is always here because <laughs> I've always died. That's a weird ability, though. Like, you would hardly ever see your ghost in regular play. Oh no, I was too far away. Okay. There is a limit to that. Okay, let's go get our ghost. Let's see what that gets us. I did not get any mana. It's a... Oh, I did. It just took a while. Screw that move. One more. Oh, so close. Was I out of mana? I was out of mana. Okay. Oh, so close. I was like right there. What are you streaming today, Alex? Are you still doing Persona? Oh, the last little bit of coffee, but it's still hot. It's still hot. Turn off the mug because I just finished it. Okay, leave your corpse, John. You need that later. Actually, I'm going to get it right after this. Oh, ow. Get a free two shots from the corpse. That's actually pretty cool. Oh. 
It's kind of like drinking two potions. Essentially. Oh my gosh, so close. Come on. No, you don't. Cheater. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. What was that? 20 tries? Ooh. Just cheese my way through it. I'll take that victory. He's still here. Maybe I just go right past him to this. Okay. Achievement at the roof at the root of the world is what the achievement was called. So what did I just get? So you're still doing the final pre-recorded stream, Alex? Um, oh, therapy. Isn't this game so beautiful looking? Next week or week after you come back, you'll continue it for real. You're so close, Alex. You're so close. Okay, so where is that item I just got? Oh, it's at the very top. Oh, okay. I think we have three of those bosses to do and then we'll fill in that thing at the very top left okay and then after that we might be able to save that really big fox that uh, we've been trying to break free now I'm trying to remember where that other boss was I wonder if we could take him out with a shotgun <laughs> There was one, like, at the very... In that library we went to. Let's see if I remember how to get there. <laughs> Gun solves all of our problems, monkey. Was it this one? Let me try this one. No, that goes here. Oh, let me just check the instructions. When in doubt, check the manual. I think it's... None of them? Oh, no, that's a library. Okay, library is at the bottom right. Okay. I need, like, an upgrade for the gun monkey just to make it more powerful. Did I get any money from that guy? Wait, what did I say? <laughs> There's a lot of things you should not be saying in America, apparently. <laughs> oh, the gun solves everything? That's what all Americans say. <laughs> Actually, I've never even owned a gun, but... Not uncommon to hear that. If anything, probably half the country believes that. Here's this jerk boss. Okay, let's try this out. I think this guy's even tougher, though. Ouch. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to use gun on these guys. There we go. Holy cow. Oh, we were really close. I think we could totally take that guy with gun. Gun is even more useful on that enemy just because of how much he teleports. Oh, I forgot to use that save point right there. I, c 
completely agree, Alex. I completely agree. And I, I do think it's kind of ridiculous how people justify them needing certain gigantic full auto weapons. Like, no, you're not defending your home with that. You're not hunting with that. It's kind of like people owning really fancy, expensive sports cars. Yeah, can your car get to like 100 miles an hour in five seconds? Sure. Can you do that legally? Not on the street. Well, you can only use it on a track. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, and now I'm going to have a corpse that I can get more mana from. Where'd he go? Oh, not fair. Okay, so when he does that, he teleports to the center. Is that right? Ouch, ouch. Oh, I got trapped in there. I was like stuck in the little corner when he hit me with that. I wonder if there's a better one to use. I definitely need the one to change the potions. Honestly, the one to get mana from our corpse is probably pretty good. And the one to get more health is probably the best. I think we probably have the best things equipped. I'm a little nervous I'm going to run out of those roots, though. I definitely need those. Ow, ow. Oh, they got me in the back with that. All three of them at once. That thing's awesome. Oh, so close. Let's see. You went to a store, a gun store, to get some pepper spray. You didn't realize we had them. And there was an M something rifle just hanging there behind the glass unloaded. Oh, I bet. I bet. And what's crazy is just like how easily, I don't know how it is in Russia, but it's really easy for a lot of people to get weapons they have no, no business owning. You know, I, I kind of wish there was a little bit more checks and balances and you know, more of a process to get a lot of weapons. It's harder to get a car and driver's license, which is also a dangerous weapon in, in some ways. Oh, I actually shot him before he landed, I think. That was kind of cool. I think I missed him with a couple of those, unfortunately. It's just out of range. I think they give you those guys just to give you more mana. Oh, we're getting so close. Come on. Oh, I'm out of mana again. Oh, get away from the center. Yes! Nice! Oh, that's two of these big bosses. I think that's the other color we needed. I can see that uh, little design on him. Green! Heck yeah! Nice, that's two down. One to go. Oof. Thank you, gun. <laughs> At least it's the solver of all your problems in Tunic. How about that? That I can get behind. Let's go save it. Oh, are school shootings common in Russia too? So it's not too easy, but possible. You have to be examined psychologically and mentally. Yeah, we don't do that. Um, 
and nobody cares if somebody fakes results and obtained a license later and it oh that's so terrible at least you guys do more of those checks that of course they can cheat and get around but it's one more step you know one more thing that they have to do to help detour them so that's something at least Okay, so I'm not sure where the next boss is, to be honest. Oh, I think we can upgrade our defense. If I go here and it's left bumper. Yeah, let's upgrade this. I need all the defense I can get. I don't know if that has to do with just your shield. Or if that's just overall you take less damage. I think that's what it is. But I can't be certain. Okay, now that we've done that, I still need to figure out how to get into that door in the mountains. I also don't know how to jump, if that's a thing. Have I been in the cathedral? I must have. Do any of these teleporters go there? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. And the people who are supposed to check for that are often ignorant. And the ignorance in those of those in power who are supposed to know something is a big problem. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Because, I mean, that's it's like the weakest link in the chain causes the whole thing to break. So when you got these people that are supposed to be doing something and they just don't do their job, the whole thing falls apart. Yeah, because I, I see another one of those things right there I'm supposed to charge down, but I don't know if I've been there or not. I really, like, their map system is really cool and clever and old school. But sometimes I just need, like, a classic Castlevania map with, like, I can know exactly where I am at all times and what rooms I've completed or not. Oh, look at that. It looks like a jumping puzzle or something. Oh, those are hooks. Never mind. I remember using those hooks before. I think we've completed that area. Hmm, I don't know how to get beneath the earth for that section. If I could find that, there might be another one of those pillars for me to drop. Are there any other ones on this map that I missed? I don't think so. Yeah, so there's at least two places I can't get to without jumping. And then there's that magic dagger thing. I bet I can't get there either, but we can try. Let's try going there. Oh, laziness is a huge problem too, absolutely. Because, yeah, nobody wants to do the work. They just keep delegating it, delegating it until the last person down there says, like, I don't get paid enough. I don't want to do this at all. Okay, let's see. West Garden? Is that the one I want to go to? I don't know if I found the thing to that. It's on the left side. Yeah, we haven't found that one yet. Okay, I can't actually do that one. Maybe that's what I should look for, West Garden. I believe that's what that section of the map is, right? This whole area is West Garden? Yeah, yeah. Um. Why 
Why haven't I done that one yet? Okay, so I guess we just need to go to this main area and then teleport back. I never remember which is which. I always have to check this. This one right here. Hey, I'll take it, Alex. I'll take it. <laughs> Rent away. And one person's rant is another person's education. Namely me. So, it's all good. Now, unfortunately, even just like grinding a bunch of these guys, I can't really get much from that. Because I don't have any other items to uh, upgrade. Oh, I forgot. I gotta swap out my items again. I'm no longer in boss rush mode. Okay, let's open that up. And then that one, there we go. What's the quickest way over there? Not this way, I don't think. You don't even get a chance to hit this guy. I can't even, like, get behind him. Hmm. I think there's an easier way up here to get across. I think I have to kind of go up and over. <laughs> Gun! I've killed that guy before. There's nothing I need to get behind him. And unfortunately, his path is not the way I want to go. Yeah, see, I want to be on this side of him so I can go down and around. But I want to shoot him. I think his shield will protect him still. I think you can't do anything to him until you get behind him. He was invincible. Okay, so I want to find the shortcut here. As well as, well, I know where the obelisk is, but I can't quite reach it. Almost got me. Yeah, if I look at the map here, it doesn't really show me where the teleporter is. On the other maps, the teleporter looks like this. It's kind of like a question mark circle. Don't, s oh, it's over there. Never mind, I can't reach that one. Shucks, okay, never mind. Maybe I didn't need to come over here. I was like, oh, we can go ahead and find it. I can't get there yet. We haven't learned how to jump. I wanna see what the deal with that candle is. I can get there from here. Oh, that's what I was going to look at. See if there was actually a magic dagger. Right over here. Well, there must have been. I've been down there. Oh, I forgot to change this, too. I tried to heal earlier and it didn't work. Let's change this one to this. Now we can heal. Yeah, we're in the area that it says there's a mag magic dag. Oh, this is it. It's the freeze thing. Okay. No, we did get that. All right. I think the guy in here earlier was telling me that it just wasn't clicking. Oh, 
Well, we do grind a lot of uh, experience out here. I will take it. Oh, nice. Now, that's not the Persona thing. That's a different project, right, Alex? I hate these guys because uh can't reach them very easily. They like to hide. There we go. You have to kind of waste mana and shoot them. And there's quite a few areas that are just out of reach because I can't jump. Did I not just come from this way? I thought I killed all these alligators. Oh yeah, let me show you the map. So we are right here, that little fox guy. And I want to get to both that question mark and that obelisk right there, but I can't reach them. I think you need to be able to jump to actually get there. And those are just out of reach, unfortunately. I wonder if there's a secret path over here. Oh, you want to move it up? There is a save point. Is that a save point? Right below, right above the obelisk, yeah. But the teleporter's over there to the right. And that. Now I'm actually like underneath this. I already got that one. Let's see. Oh, good. No, I definitely want to check that out. Oh, I'm curious how you're going to implement that into the Persona project, but I guess it's more of about the art of like filming and everything, right? So I guess it does make sense how it would integrate. How do I even get back up to where I was? I think I was up this way. <laughs> when you're running like crazy, you can trip. It's kind of funny. Yeah, monkey. I think this takes me back up to where I was. And then the obelisk was right down this way. Here's a save point. And there's the obelisk right there. I can kind of go around this way, but I can't jump up. And you can go around this way. And actually, I did a, that weird little prayer thing and found a secret door right here. In which I found like a uh, chest, but that's all that was in here. Yeah, I can't jump up there. It seems like you need to get to those stairs. But I think you need to do that. So... As far as these kind of like, I can use them for mana, I got a stick, which is a weak weapon, the sword, which is better. This freezes enemies, this torches things a little bit, just does a little bit of damage. This is a grappling hook, but you have to have a hook to hook it on. The gun, and this slows down everything. That's mana, that's health. I forget what some of these do. One of these gives you more money to spend at a vendor. Which one is it, by the way? I forget. I think one of them might be a decoy. Let's check. Let's check the instruction manual. Those are the up. Oh, here we go. So that one is called a lure. So I think that's like a decoy. You drop it off, and then your enemy will be distracted, and you can kill him while he's attacking it. The effigy is what gives you money. 
Yeah, no, that's cool. I like it. Any any kind of like how-to instructional thing like that, Alex, is really awesome. We're so close to reaching that teleport point, too. I'll take that health. Hmm. We can try the mountain door again. I'm not sure if we've done everything in the mountain door area. Now that I can pray and stuff, maybe I can actually get it open. We got one of those kind of doors open in that area where we need the gas mask. So I think we should be able to open that other one. I haven't opened it yet. Yeah, I can't wait though. Are you gonna do it like private first and show it to us? Or are you just gonna publish it and let us know? Either way, I'm excited to check it out. How long do you think it's gonna be? Let's keep going this way. Oh, I did it. No, I can cross here. Oh, nice. So everybody can jump in and watch like live and you can kind of be watching and react, right? Answer questions, that kind of thing. That's fun. Actually, you know what? I'm going to mess with the um, costumes for a second. Somebody told me how you can change back to the normal costume. I actually like the it's essentially Legend of Zelda link colors. So I want to try to switch back to that. Um, I do not have any coins. Is that the right way? Yeah, I think that reaches down. Let's follow this. Yeah, voiceover stuff is tough. When I've done it for some of the videos I've made, I felt like I put too much script, too much effort just trying to get it perfect. I think if I did more in the future, I'd probably just give myself like some vague talking points and just try to freestyle it a little bit more. I think it sounds more natural that way. I think it was back here? There's the secret place. So, from what I remember, he said you just hit one of the bells, then you go back behind the changing door and it gets you back to normal. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oops. Was our first outfit that green? Maybe it was. That looks really neon green. Oh, you have already recorded everything. Good. It's so funny. Whenever I record things like that, I find it so hard to like keep the house quiet and avoid any interruptions. just barely out of reach from getting to that side. Once again, if I had a jump or something, that might work. Hmm. I don't really know where to go next, guys. Let me see if I can find something online real quick. Otherwise, it might be better for me to take a break. And then when we jump back in on Saturday, kind of find what we're supposed to do next. Let me just take a look. It's called... Let 
Let's see. <laughs> so you might have some sound effects, Alex. Um, what are you using just to record your audio? I'm assuming you're doing audio and not video at the same time. I use Audacity. It's free. It's easy and does a pretty good job. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Let them get through the commercials and everything. All that good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, it's tricky to get a perfect recording environment, isn't it? I use post-processing to get rid of all of that. Ouija666, welcome Raiders to John Cadia. We got Becca Do Bika Doodles, Lockhart Games, Ouija Gamma. How's it going, everybody? How was your stream, Ouija? What were you playing tonight? Let me give you a shout out. Let's see, you were working on, uh, let's see, oh, Jedi Fallen Order. That was such a good game. It's kind of like a Dark Souls light with a nice uh, Star Wars flair. It was fun. And you just finished it and you played on the hardest difficulty. Never mind. That wasn't a Dark Souls light. It was probably much more like Dark Souls being that difficult. Great job. I just beat it on the normal difficulty. I haven't fired it up again, but I really enjoyed it. Had a pretty cool story. So you must be excited for the next one. What was it called? Jedi? It's still called Star Wars Jedi something. I forget the, the proper title, but uh, Survivor. That's it. Survivor. Yeah. Did that, is that coming out this year or was that delayed or not supposed to come out till next year? I forget the release date for that, but definitely excited for that one. Oh, you were using OBS for that. Nice. Um, and there's a little bit of me looking into the camera. Oh, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, with OBS, you can actually use um, that like NVIDIA plugin to help like remove any other sounds from your voice. So if the dog is barking or whatever's going on, it just eliminates those sounds. It does a great job. Oh, March. That's not too far. That'll come pretty quick. Gamma more like the dark side. Nice. Okay, that'll be good. That'll be good. I can't wait for that one. That'll be fun. Um, what would you guys say is your favorite Star Wars game now that you just beat this game? I haven't played a ton. I played a lot of the old Star Wars games like N64, Super Nintendo, Sega CD. Um, I think I played, what was that like? Battlefront? Is that what, the one on the original Xbox? I played that one, Battlefront 2. But, uh, I, this, I think Jedi Fallen Order might have been my favorite of all of them, to be honest. Yeah, the Battlefront 2 was a lot of fun. I did enjoy that one. Get together with friends, just having that still Star Wars universe with actually a good um, team-based shooter. That was a lot of fun. And Gamma, OBS can work with a lot of external plugins that use the VST standard. True, true. I know, I think they just added support recently for that NVIDIA, I forget what they call it, but the one that eliminates other sounds from your mic except for your voice, and it works tremendously well. Force Unleashed. Oh, that was a good one, too. That was like was that Xbox 360 era Lockhart. It's been a while since I've seen that one. Oh, and then, of course, you can't forget um, Nice of the Old Republic. I know a lot of people would say that's their favorite, but I have not played that one, so I cannot claim that. I do like Bioware games. I played Dark Age. Oh, uh, wait, what was it called? Dragon Age. Dark Age. Dragon Age. Um and Mass Effect, of course, those are both great. And I even played their weird kind of like Asian style action RPG, Jade Empire on the Xbox, the original Xbox, but never played Knights Old Republic. You go back and try that one. Although I think it's like in turmoil right now. They were working on the game, like a remake of the game. And I think they something bad happened. And uh, yeah, nobody knows what's going on with it. Maybe it's canceled. Maybe it's just on a big hiatus while they kind of reform the team because it seemed like a lot of people quit or got fired. So I have no idea what's going on. I meant to ask you guys, since we have some new folks, are any of you guys familiar with the game Tunic? Because I am completely stumped as to what to do next in this game. Um, we're pretty decently far, I think. I don't know if I'm like a two thirds, a little past halfway, but I just don't know where to go next. It doesn't give you a whole lot of insight as far as like what your next goal is, which is good and bad. I love the idea of exploration, but sometimes you get to a point where you just don't know what the game expects of you next. Did I go into the monastery? I might need to check that out. I'm not sure. 
Oh, and Anna, how's it going, Anna Riston? Welcome, you do know Tunic. Okay, so just for an idea of like where I kinda am, um, I guess I should probably look at this. So I just took out two of the big bosses that got me those two colored things at the top left. Um, one of them was in that underground secret place where they were kind of putting together all those big obelisks with those people inside. And the other one was in uh, the very, very tip top of that tower, that kind of guy that flies around and blasts you. So I'm not sure where the last one is, but in general, I'm not sure what area I need to explore next either. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go back to that. But it's such a beautiful game. I love the music, just the style of it. It's so cool. And Gamma, uh, you know you need to read a literal in-game manual to know what to do? Yeah, it's such a cool idea. Um, as you're playing this game, you kind of learn about new abilities, just basic functions, like how to level up. I didn't find that out until like three or four hours into the game. And I, I found some clue that told me, oh, you hold or you press the left bumper to um, like upgrade when you're at a save point. I never would have thought to do that. I've just been using them to save. So like little things like that are really cool. Like this one teaches you how to pray. I didn't have that before. So it, you unlock all kinds of new places. So we want to go east again, but more northy than the first time. So are you talking about kind of this area to get into the Forbidden Past? Or for, for Forbidden Pass? I did all that area, and I got um, the gun, and I got... There's another item out there. Um, well, maybe that's where one of the big bosses is, though. I don't think I fought a big boss there yet. Although one of those areas took me to that place, I did get the big boss, so maybe not. That big golden thing up there, I have not figured out what to do with that yet. I think I might need an item for that. And I have not saved the fox behind the barrier, but I think I need to do all three of those big bosses first. I also, maybe I need to check the mountain door. I haven't actually unlocked that yet. Let's see. So east of the main map, so like um, this area. And I've been exploring this area, and there's two places here I can't get to, that obelisk and that question mark, which is like a teleportation spot. But I think I need to be able to jump, and I'm not sure how to jump yet. I haven't gotten that ability. And there's like a lot of things I haven't been able to get to because of that. But is this the area you're kind of talking to? Oh, that's west. <laughs> this is northeast. Derp. Okay. Um, so I did do east forest. Maybe you're talking about that area or up this way. <laughs> not that east. Not that right. Your other right. Derp. Sorry about that. I swear I know my east from west. It's late. <laughs> I've been streaming for like five hours. And your little dude can move pretty fast. So if you actually know where you're going, you can get places pretty quick, which is nice. Let's see here. Is that going to get me to where I want to go? I think so. I think I need to go up. You know, I should save it. I don't know where my last save point is. Really, how that helps is in case you die, you come back to that same spot. Forest Fortress. Oh, I haven't done this at all. But I also can't jump. I can climb down here, though. Oh, yeah, I haven't been here. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How did I miss all this? I think I maybe went to this forest east, and I didn't realize that was a whole nother exit and didn't ever check that way. Dead. Okay, but we can turn that on with this one. Thank you so much, Anna. Yeah, this is one of those games that, like... Easy to get lost in the weeds, but it's so good. 
So we'll charge this guy up. And I really don't need much money right now. I don't have any items to upgrade, and I think I've bought all the big things from the shopkeeper until he refreshes his inventory. Oh, there's a big bridge to pull down over there. Okay. This camera is not keeping up with me. Here's another one. Oh, I see instructions. It's kind of the most important thing in the game. Oh, I see an underground area. You know, there's another underground map here that I don't think I've ever been to. This section right here, I don't remember ever seeing that. I was trying to find it in other places and got lost. Oh, okay, so we've done two of these. I think we did the blue and the green. So we did the root of the world, and we did the top of the sky. Forest Temple! This is going to be the area that uh, the, the next boss is, I believe. I wonder if this is the first one you were supposed to get to. Because uh, I, I kind of, some of those bosses I tried to fight Anna, I had such a hard time with. I don't think I, I should have been able to beat them with my skill level. I cheesed him with the gun. The gun is just so dang powerful. I was kind of able to force my way through. Aha, secret. Like it took me 10 or 20 tries each boss, but I did manage to destroy them with that gun. I essentially just like changed it so I had mana potions instead of healing potions and blasted them to death. Hoping to get lucky and not get killed too quickly. <laughs> Each time I won, I had like a sliver of health. Oh, this is the place of these spiders. I don't like these spiders. They back up until they're ready to strike. That's a dead end. Oh, this is probably that place, isn't it? was it? Oh, I skipped it. Yeah, there I am. Okay, nice. I'm finally in this place. I was trying to find it elsewhere and it was driving me crazy. Gotta have giant spiders. You know, the, the, the scariest giant spider I ever seen in a game, Gamma, was Skyrim. But not because they were scary. I mean, they're kind of creepy. They're huge and they skitter real fast. But because I was playing it in VR. And everything in VR becomes 10 times more scary. I remember the first time I saw that guy slither down the wall and then lunge at me. Oh, no thank you. Okay, those are those little explosive guys. The same thing happened to me with uh, Half-Life Alex. It's not a horror game, but when you got those like face hugger dudes like jumping at you, you can't help but flinch. It doesn't matter how good you are with scary games. And I'm really good with scary games. Like, I love horror. But, yeah, when you got one of those things just going right at you, everybody has a reaction. Yeah, see, I feel like this probably should have been my first kind of boss I went after. I, I, I bet this place is going to be easier than the rest. So now I might be kind of overleveled? Too powerful? I'm not sure. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Isn't it so good, Gamma? I streamed the whole game. I loved it. It was great. It's still my favorite VR game. I do have another VR game I want to stream. I'm probably going to wait for October. But uh, it's called... The Walking Dead, I forget the subtitle to it, but um, everybody says that's like one of the best VR games. 
Saints and Sinners. That's it. I couldn't think of the name. Yeah, see, they don't do anything until you, they get cornered real close. Then they lunge at you. So all you can really do is hold your shield and back them into a corner. Otherwise, you're going to get take some damage. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, just that sense of scale and everything being right in front of you. It's so much more... I don't know, immersive. Um, when I played Resident Evil 7 in VR, that was one of the first VR games I played on the PlayStation. Um, I just got this visceral fear of going down some hallways. It's like, I, I just don't want to go. I refuse. Okay, we just got a bell. What does that do? Did I skip it? I think I skipped it. Oh, they're at the end. That's right. Kind of like a glossary. Okay, so the thing we just picked up... Muffling Bell. I don't know what that does. I think it makes you quieter. It seems like it would make you louder, though, right? It's a bell. <laughs> it's going to get their attention. Oh, I know, Gamma. Although, there's probably a way to play the existing one in VR. It's just kind of a hack job. There's, I forget the name of the program, but there's this program on PC you can install and practically play any game in VR. It's just not made for VR, so you got to use an Xbox controller or something. and It might be a little janky, but it's still a neat experience. Actually, a lot of people have played uh, Dead Space. Not Dead Space. That's what we were just talking about. Alien Isolation with that. And I've heard that is absolutely terrifying. Oh, I can't connect to that. Never mind. Right, Artemis? And, and especially for people that have a prone to being motion sick, you got to be careful because you can get... I think it's actually simulator sickness. you got to really watch out and not do something your body's not ready for. You can get your VR legs, they call it. The more you use it, the less you get sick. Aha! There we go. I wonder if that's a timed thing. Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Mushrooms. That's another upgrade we need. I remember when I first got my PlayStation VR, I did get a little wheezy in one of the games that I played, but then I played it again a couple days later, never got wheezy, and I've never gotten six cents, luckily. Stop running! And I'd rather just take a hit than chase you all over the place. Yeah, actually, I, I do think they might have made a few modifications to make it work a little bit better in VR. Gosh, is the big boss of this area just going to be like a giant spider? I heard about the mic support where the alien can like hear you breathing or doing certain things. That sounds terrifying. No, thank you. Oh, here's a shortcut. Nice. Before we go down there, let's check the rest of this floor. bad guy? He's got to be. I can target him. So we must murder him. Those guys are so cute. And then they explode and scare the crap out of you. Yeah, if you could have any game in VR, what do you think it would be? It's kind of a tough one to ask because most people can't spend a lot of time in VR. Like, I was always thinking, like, oh, have, like, a, a big MMO that you like. World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV in VR. But, like, you, you, you spend so much time in those games. It would be kind of difficult to do that in VR. I 
Ow, they caught me on fire. Oops, I don't have the right thing equipped. There we go. Haha, <laughs> don't you burn yourself. Another guy over here. But yeah, just for like an immersion point of view. Oh, I know what I would want. This is kind of a deep cut, but have you guys ever played Black and White? It was a PC game. It came out around 2000, 2001? I forget the exact year. But it's, it's essentially like a god game where you're kind of way up above and you've got this hand that you control in the game and you can use it to kind of move around the land. You can grab items like big rocks and boulders, you throw them, but you're also like trying to build up a civilization and get them to believe in you and worship you. At the same time, you have like this giant creature that you can like teach how to do stuff and play like you would like to play. So you can teach them to be good. You can teach them to be evil. And I think just the fact that the game has like a hand as your entire interaction with the game would be perfect in VR because you're just from like a top down perspective. That's all you'd be doing is using your hand to interact with stuff anyway. So I think that'd be awesome. And maybe even use like the cameras in like the modern VR headsets to do hand tracking. You wouldn't even need to have um, like a controller or anything. That'd be fantastic. Oh, it was such a good game, Artemis. I loved it. I really miss the old... Oh, and Populous. Yeah, it's the same guys that actually made Populous made Black and White. Um, I miss old Bullfrog. They made Dungeon Keeper, Black and White. Um, I think they, they were called Lionhead Studios, but it's the same company. Um, when they made that game. Magic Carpet. Syndicate. So many good games. But man, Peter Molyneux, that, uh, oh, and Fable, yeah, that developer, he just, he has a really bad habit of writing checks, his mouth writes checks, his skills can't cash. He keeps saying like, oh, our game's going to have this and that and this and that, and it sounds too good to be true and ends up being too good to be true. He makes good games, they just, I don't know, a little too ambitious, I think, a little too ambitious. Yeah, Artemis. I don't think you can find black and white anywhere. It's not on GOG.com, not on Steam. I'm not sure if it even works in Windows 10 at all, to be honest. I have the discs. I should try it out sometime. I don't think it's the greatest, like, game per se. It's just a really cool experience. But like, you know, the campaign and the story and everything, it's nothing like crazy to write home about. It's just such a cool, unique thing. It's so much fun to screw around with. Gosh, there is so much to explore here. I was about to quit like 30 minutes ago, but now I want to keep going a little bit longer. So we're making some good progress now. How funny you were just looking for it on Steam, man. What are the odds? That's so cool. Did you play Black and White 2, um, Artemis? I liked it as well. Um, I think the first was a little bit more special for me. Two might have been better in a lot of ways. Oh, this guy has like a dual wielding. And he's a bit bigger too. Ow. I gotta heal. Taking some major fire damage. True, people are really good about patching up games and making them work on computers. I've actually kind of switched to mm, primarily playing games on PC now. I, I have an Xbox, I have a PlayStation, I have a Switch, I love them all. But there's something about the uh, permanence of PC gaming in a way that I really enjoy. Oh, I almost missed this instruction manual piece. For example, 
I can go on Steam and fire up Doom from 1993. That game's been around forever. How many current consoles can play a game from 1993? <laughs> Unless they remaster it, you know? But if they don't do that, you just kind of lose access to those games. And I also find a lot of times... Oh, what was the game I saw recently? Oh, what Remains of Edith Finch? That I guess they're just coming up with like a remaster or like an updated version for PS5 to play at higher frame rates in 4K. You could always do that on PC. You don't need a remaster. But like if you own the PS4 version, apparently you have to like rebuy it on PS5 to get those updates. And like you don't deal with that on PC. You just when you get better hardware, your games run and look better. And I love that. OK, what is this talking about? Librarian Holy Cross Cathedral. Magic Orb. I don't know what that's going on about. Boss of the Scavengers. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Spider Monkey 83. Welcome, Raiders, to John Cadia. How are you doing, Spider? Thank you so much for the raid. I was say, you were up really late. What have you been doing? <laughs> I guess you don't have work tomorrow, do you? Let me give you a uh, shout out there, Spider. Were you still working on Tales of Monkey Island? Oh, you're on the last chapter of that game now, aren't you? And Quesadilla, how's it going, dude? Welcome back. How is it going? I bet you're probably right at the end if you have not finished the game, Spider. And you work tomorrow? <laughs> the hell are you streaming so late for? I was almost going to go to bed and, uh, you know, I'm still streaming. <laughs> but um, I don't have work tomorrow. You did finish it. Is that what kept you up so you could beat the game? I do do that from time to time. If I'm near the end of a game, even on a work night, I would hate to like quit the stream and only have like 30 minutes to finish the game. I'll just lose that bit of sleep and finish up the game so I can start a fresh game the next time. Because it's like a pet peeve of mine. I feel like there should be something under here. Maybe not. <laughs> I really don't either. Um, I probably get on average of like five or six hours of sleep a night. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have saved it. I like the checkpoint, but that's going to bring all those guys back. That's not good for exploring. Oh, well, I'll just try not to backtrack. <laughs> Poor Alex. I hate it when you doze off at work. That's the worst feeling ever. Do you drink coffee? Oh, this game's going much better now, Spider. I was kind of lost earlier. I wasn't sure where I needed to go. Whoa, look at that. But um, I got a little bit of help pointing me in the right direction. We're making progress again. It's so good, though. This game's so good. There's a tough guy there. Let's, um, all right, let me try to grapple him and then get some hits off. Nice. Okay, that works way better than what I was doing before. Oh, crap. There's a guy up there. Why don't you come down here, too? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, he ran away. Chicken. Where'd he go? Gotcha. Yeah, it, it, there's definitely less problems with uh, console gaming for sure. No weird bugs, no random, well, less weird bugs, no random glitches because of a new video card or something. But like, I don't know, over the years, I've kind of gotten to the point where it just makes sense. I got a Steam Deck, so every game I have on Steam, it's kind of like having a Switch. I have an arcade cabinet, and I actually load my Steam games on there. So like for fighting games and like... Uh, beat em ups and stuff like that. It's great to have them in the arcade cabinet. It's so cool. So I've kind of just kind of decided, you know what? Unless it's like an exclusive, like a Nintendo game or something, not even Sony games now, because you can get many Sony games on PC. I'm probably going to be primarily PC going forward. Ow, caught me on fire. I wish I could douse myself in that water. And you're not a coffee guy? What about tea, Alex? Do you drink tea or soda? Something to get some caffeine. 
I'm loving the Steam Deck. It's so cool. And I'm not even doing the uh, emulation stuff yet, but people are saying it's like the best device for emulation. And I definitely like to emulate stuff. Um, I'm always of the mind, kind of just ethically, if a publisher is not going to sell a game on a, a modern platform, hell yeah, I'm going to emulate that. <laughs> but if I can buy it, of course I will purchase it. Well, these guys are a pain. Okay, this is getting dangerous. I'm taking some hits. Heal. True, Alex. Yeah, and the bummer about soda is it's just not as good for you as coffee and uh, tea. Those actually have some health benefits as long as you don't overdo it. But soda, either you're getting way too much sugar or you go the diet route and you just get... Um, what do you call it? Uh, a cancer from the aspartame. So that's not good either. I feel like I'm going to drop a rope soon and make a shortcut. Where the hell am I going? That burns! Whoa. Let's see. Oh, good news or bad news? I'm going to go for bad news first. I always like to end on a good note, Spider. What's the bad news? Oh, here's one of these. I feel like I've missed so much stuff. And another switch. <laughs> it's bedtime for you. Yes, it is. Mr. Staying up way past your bedtime on a work night. Go to bed. Wait, me go to bed? I don't have work tomorrow. Why do I have to go to bed? Let's... Ooh, let's shoot that thing. Blast that guy. Nice. Oh, I still caught on fire. What the hell got me? Luckily, I do have a lot of um, healing potions. Yeah, no work tomorrow. I love it. I work a 980 schedule, so every other Friday I get off. I love it. They're watching Drag Me to Hell at like 1 o'clock in the morning on a weeknight, Spider. That's what I call very successful parenting. I love Drag Me to Hell. It's such a fun movie. Oh, we're back here. Okay, I know where we are. I'm not going to use that save point because I don't want to refresh all the monsters, but let me go ahead and put this in here. Not quite three. We need a little bit more. Yeah, Sam Raimi needs to make... Oh, they don't have school. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, Sam Raimi needs to make some more horror movies. Um, His last movie... Uh... What was it called? One of your favorites. Um, Doctor Strange was good, but I, I want more something along the lines of like gruesome evil dead. This place is way more massive than I expected. I feel like I missed a lot. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Oh, no, I think we're perfect. We needed to charge this up. And then the other one, which was broken, so now that that's loaded, we should be able to open this up. I did watch that spider. That was pretty good. I liked it. It was really cool how they took that character and kind of turned him into a villain. I was kind of surprised by that. Although from watching WandaVision, it kind of made sense. Essentially, right? But of course... I would prefer it rated R. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not quite going to get that with Marvel yet. I'm kind of scared Marvel is going to make Blade PG-13. And that would be disappointing.
I think we might be getting close to the boss. Oh, is she really? I'm excited to see what um, Marvel does with the X-Men, now that they have the X-Men. Like, we haven't hardly seen any of them. Marvel purchase Fox. Nice. Oh, we almost got all of these. This is good. Yeah, Gamma. The big problem with trying to get a Steam Deck now is the waiting list is just huge. Um, I got mine within like 17, 18 minutes of it going live, and it still took me two months after they started shipping to get mine. And then as soon as I was able to purchase mine, I bought one for my wife, but that's I'll be lucky if that comes before Christmas. It'll probably be even later than that. West Coast Adventures? What side? I don't know the comics. There's so much I don't know. I think this is going to be a boss. I think that's probably a warning. I heard that. At San Diego Comic Con, they mentioned that they're going to be bringing... I don't know if it's continuing the animated series or they're rebooting it or what. But... I really enjoyed the 90s X-Men. I still have the theme song stuck in my head. It's so catchy. Da -da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Then you got that silly character Morph that they invented just to get killed in the first episode. Oh yeah, this is totally a boss battle arena, isn't it? They should try to do it like the 90s animation. They, they could make it smoother, but keep that art style. At least keep the vibes. Oh, here it comes. Oh, my lord. Siege engine. This guy's huge. I, I cannot latch onto this guy. Ouch. Okay, if I keep dodging at the right time... Hopefully I can stay alive here. Oh, did not time that right. Okay, let's heal a little bit. Holy cow. Oh no, he has little helpers too? Come on. That's not cool. Ah! Oh my lord, I'm getting shot. I much prefer to stay close and he swings at me. Oh, there's like a button there. Can I reach that? I don't think so. Some kind of bomb got me. I think I'm going to try my shotgun approach. Brute force in the hell out of these guys. Let's go back to the gun. Here we go. And I'm going to switch out this ability with this, which makes it so I have mana potions instead of healing potions. He is a big guy. <laughs> I might need more upgrades, but... And Anna, I was having such a hard time with the previous two big bosses... I managed to destroy them with the shotgun. It took me a lot of tries, like 10 or 20 tries, but we did get it with this shotgun. It just does so much damage. Um, I was going to swap another one of these. This one? Yeah, I think this makes it so I get mana when I collect my corpse, which I'm going to need as much mana as I can. It does kind of look like something out of Half-Life too, huh? Good night, Spider. Thank you so much for the raid again, dude. All right, let's see if we can take this guy. Let's grab this. Take the mana. Whoa, no thank you. I do have to get a little bit close to blast him.
Oh, those bombs. Oh, thank you. That's tough to dodge. I think the best strategy is to drink two potions and then blast them twice. I missed with that one. Oh, crap. Because if you do three potions, you still only get two shots. It's kind of weird. I need to switch to this. Here we go. Oh god, bombs! Oh, they're homing! Not cool, game. Not cool. Oh dear. Okay, take another one of these. Oh, he got me with this big blast at the end. We got him pretty far down. He had like less than a quarter. So that might be the easiest way. Um, unfortunately, I'm out of those extra mana potions. Hmm. I might want to backtrack a little bit and get to a shop and see if I can't purchase them. I don't know how much money we have. I assume the shopkeeper has those things. And Anna, uh, after this boss, how far do you think we are through the game? Like, I'm assuming I'm more than, like, two-thirds done with the game? Three-quarters almost after that boss, maybe? I'm not sure how many hours I have in this game. I, I thought I read it's roughly 15. Although I've definitely spent a lot of time lost and confused. So <laughs> I could be further behind than I expect. How much money we got? 700? I don't know how expensive those things are. I haven't really spent much money on consumables. Mostly just the, uh, the big upgrades. So it's these guys right here. 150? Is that for one? That's only for one. Okay, those are pretty expensive. And we're broke. Thank goodness for those teleporters. We're not too far away. It was just... Oh no, it was down, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just down here. Sometimes in this game it felt like the... Uh, save points were a little far spaced apart, but for these big bosses, they've been pretty nice giving you one very close to the boss. I definitely appreciate that. I could definitely see in this game there being a ton of secrets even after you're done with the game. Corpse still here? I have that ability to collect my corpse. Where is my corpse? Way over there. Okay. Oh, hell yeah, Gam. I would love Metroid in VR. With the headset kind of mock up and everything around your vision, that would look so cool. It's 
Go back a little bit. Two more. Oh, this is going to be pretty close. Oh, no! How did that not get me? I think I dodged just at the right time somehow. Oh, gosh. Oh, I thought he was going to get me. Oh, I missed. Dodge. Oh, no, he's shooting. Oh, don't get me. I'm so close. No, no, no. One more hit. Come on. Yes! Ooh, I was so close. Every time I beat these bosses, I'm like... One shot from getting killed with no healing left. Yeah, that gun is so overpowered. I love it. Oh, did they not do a proper VR version of Subnautica? That's a bummer. What is this thing? Looks like a little button on there. I don't know what that is. Nice, we did it, Artemis. That's a tough one. Thank you. Um, Where's that item? Oh, it's up here. It's actually next to your shield and stuff. How do you use it? I can't, like, equip it. I'm not sure what that thing does. I tried all the buttons on there. I think I've tried all the buttons on here. <laughs> what is it? Okay, well, before we do anything else, let's save it. Oh, maybe I use it in there. It kind of looks like there's a little slot for you to uh, insert some kind of tool. try this. Aha! Have I seen that anywhere else, though? I don't remember it. That's cool looking. There's the last one! Nice. So that doesn't necessarily mean we're done with the forest, but uh, gotten a lot done here. This is actually probably a good stopping point, I think. We've just done all three of the major bosses, collected their stuff. I believe the next thing we're supposed to do is come back to this main area and go into this main gate where... The big fox was kind of sealed behind that barrier. I think we needed all three of those things collected to help her out. Not sure, but I think that's the case. So we'll see. I'm not sure how much longer we have to go in the game, to be honest. Like if there's just like one boss left or something, I don't want to quit now. Anybody else familiar with the game know how much more there is to go? Because yeah, not being familiar, I could like leave it right now. Come back and play for 15 minutes and be done with the game. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I should have just kept going a little bit longer. I didn't need much more time. Swap back to our regular stuff. Much better. And unfortunately, you can like do all of this stuff in like any order you want. So it's really tough to tell just from, you know, like there's no percentage, it doesn't tell you that. So it's hard to know how much you really have left. Let me just double check to see in a walkthrough if it looks like you turn that in, there's a boss and the game is over. Oh, wait, we're still missing, like, an ability to jump or something. No, there's definitely got to be a lot more to this game. Okay. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, what more do we have left? But, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff I haven't been able to access yet. So, once we get that ability, we're going to have to go around to all those places we missed the items and collect them. 
So yeah, this is probably a great stopping point.